the foil from some chewing Greetings. Wood. I feel like, I feel like a hello. grandpa hello. having his kids explain hello, TikTok hello. things to him. <laughs> oh, I feel like shit. You look like a two minute. Yeah. I really fucking do. Hi guys, I'm okay, ill and I was very late. Hi ill, I'm dead. Nice. I need to fucking I so my headphones were freaking out earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. Audio only came out of one side, so I put my thing in a different socket. And now audio works again, but everyone is a lot louder than they normally uh, are. So hello, now I'm just hello. now I'm just like wondering how long my shit <laughs> uh, my audio has been way too quiet purely because the audio jack that I was in. Uh, like the port it's I was apparently, in, just broken. Yeah. I need to like do some volume adjustments real quick. How dare you! Shut the fuck up! Fuck off! Whoa! That was kind of rude. Not gonna lie. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm lashing out. I'm lashing out. Um, hey gamers, it's Sunday. Thank We're you. back. Welcome to uh, another uh, another dungeon set. Another dungeon select session seventy five of our second campaign. We're still doing this. It's crazy. Um, That's crazy. So I tilted his camera up, and now like the formatting Sorry, of this thing it, is it's, fucked up, and I'm mad. I, I didn't change it that much. <laughs> Slight adjustment. Slight adjustment. You fucker! Just you're out here trying to sabotage me. I was laying down earlier too. So it's... You were laying down. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, bro is straight like. Bro, sometimes you gotcha, just want to like gotcha, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, hey chat, hype train. What the fuck happened? Pixie. Some subby wubbies. Koibi. Uh, yeah, I'm the guy. Oh, that's me. Wait. Anonymous Gifter giving Briar a sub. OSG, Soko. Thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate you. Any, oh, any subs in the chat? Any, any subs? Uh, welcome Any there, doms in the chat? <laughs> not Any not switches here. in the chat? Wait, didn't okay. we just hit like our five year or six year anniversary? Like five year, baby? Yeah, that's why we were doing. We were going to do a, a Discord at some point, but then my mental health went down the <laughs> fucking drain, so we postponed that a little bit. But it'll, it'll happen. What is my hair doing? It's <laughs> looking it's sexy. Doing fun things. Yeah. Hot girl boss. Geeky. Gaslight. <laughs> Affair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Christ. Uh, I'm now. <clears throat> we're, we're we're all mentally stable, as you can see, chat. Uh, it's uh, <sighs> it's uh, what a time to be alive. What a rush. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys are all doing well. Hope everybody is. Dude, well. like everyone's fucked except Soko. Bell's so <laughs> fucked she's I, not here. I'm like <laughs> this is this, this is mental illness. The fucking campaign right now. <laughs> Literally, it really is. Oh. But that's why we play D and D. Escapism. Laura just fucking popped her shoulder as if she it's fell. So... Oh my god. <laughs> we <laughs> said Bell's name, but I just didn't Laura, her. Laura's <laughs> filling in. <laughs> her shoulder. She fucking, oh, she fucking, oh. she fucking haunted you. Oh. Okay. Screw it up. Are we two B bigs out here? Uh, you gotta oh. cut that for Bell. Bell will love that. Uh, Yo, yeah, should, I my, should I post my horrible foot? Let's go. No, no. no Dude, maybe Bell's just taking turns haunting people. Yeah, that's you know? what's going on. Anyway, uh, was a I, I, chat. Bell didn't die. Just, just, no. Just to well, get, I set mean, that straight. Oh no, I've not seen her. <laughs> <laughs> True. No. Um, we're here for uh, session seventy-five of uh, our second campaign, and. Before we get into the swing of things, any announcements? Anything that you want to share with the class before we... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I posted the video with some super, super minor editing of the one shot that I ran for that charity event on my YouTube. So if you want to watch it, uh, links in the chat. It's the from the Keys to the Golden Vault uh, adventure source book. Uh, we ran the party at Palisett Hall uh, adventure. It was a fun time. So feel free to watch if you want a one shot to watch or listen to in the background while you do shit around the house. So I watch half my content nowadays. Oh yeah, that's how I watch most of my content just because I can't focus life. on one thing at a time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I get to just multitask. <laughs> tell me about it. Fucking tell me. Is it uh, multitasking or are you just doing two different things badly? <laughs> Why? Those are not mutually exclusive. The number of Hearthstone games I've lost because I like got distracted by the YouTube video for five <laughs> seconds, and the number of YouTube videos that I've started over because I was playing a game of Hearthstone, it's, yeah. it's out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, out of hand. I feel that. I, I There's some that. interesting new studies on what's causing like that in people these days, like besides social media, but like yeah. there's other things that know. have some pretty promising results. So, so you're saying there's hope? 
Uh, no, I'm saying that we oh. probably know what the reason, but it's probably not going to get fixed because oh. it's kind of just ingrained. Why did you have to bring it up then? You know? I just thought it was interesting that the studies were actually like coming for later out generations, doing right? stuff. So we'll really figure out what causes it, we'll fix it, and then they'll be able to focus on one thing at a time as the world falls apart around them. Because we can I was going to say Generation Alpha will fix it, but then I just remember that TikTok audio that's like, I'm your skibbity, I'm your Rizzler, or whatever. Oh, and I was like, no. yeah, no, Generation Alpha aren't fixing anything. No, I think it's going to be like three generations and I'll end where they actually fix something. Just they make that it that bad. far. Anyway. Uh, I don't right. think we have any other announcements other than, again, uh, obviously Briar is no longer playing with us, but <laughs> over on their channel, uh, our Candela yeah. Obscura campaign continues. The second episode where my character was introduced to everyone got, the footage got corrupted, so it's gone forever, and I'm very upset, Fucking but the campaign shit. will continue. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. I know, I'm so mad, because I think, I was, I, it was one of my better characters, I think. I, I think I did a good job. But, oh well, she's still Prior in the show now, but she'll just, be, uh, she'll just be there. She'll, like, the my character all of a sudden just be inserted. The, was it streamed, or was it just recorded? No, it was just recorded. So Ooh. we don't have a VOD. Yeah, that's rough. To, uh, that's yeah. rough. So we're just gonna go to episode 3, and it'll be like, Hi, here's the recap of what y'all missed, but we played. <laughs> Shit that happened. Sucks. Yeah. Yo, wait. <clears throat> I've been carrying this button for quite a long time, and I need to share it with the two people in oh, here no, who no, actually no, know no, who no, Red and Link are. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm excited. Okay. No. <laughs> Dude, they both use butt plugs, bro. That's the news. So? Okay, I didn't want to be the that. only one who knew. That's all, that's no, all I got to say. Does that really surprise you? I didn't want to be the only one who knew. I've <laughs> Listen, it's been at the back of my mind, and every time I watch GMM, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I guarantee you probably a good like 30% of people you interact with in your life have also probably used butt plugs and you just don't know about it. So... I, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do My it mental's anymore. done after. Only 30? <clears throat> I'm being I'm being That's let's generous. Not, let's, that not, is let's, fucking generous. Guys, let's not con dive down this rabbit hole that is the amount of men Yo. in the world that oh, chat. Any, so any, any, any pluggers in chat? Yo. Any, any, we got poll. Let's let's just let's just hmm. Swiftly move on. Yo, can we start a poll? No, yeah, on. Start a poll. no, no. <laughs> Dive down the rabbit hole. No, Katie. We're, we're not you, diving down the rabbit hole. We're going to plug the rabbit hole. Yes. We're going to no. plug the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm. Anyone else? Any announcements? Just Let's share? just play D&D. Right, dude, D &D I'm looking related? at the poll right now, dude. I, I can't do it. I can't Wait, do it. Wait, do we have any Duke dreams? can't skip that. No. Yeah, yeah about Red and Link's butt plugs. No, yeah, plugs. yeah. My <laughs> nightmares are haunted knowing that Link's vibrated, by the way. Um, nice. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. They all vibrate if you sit on the wrong spot on the train. Chat, for those new, this is not an accept. This is normal. Like, the first half hour of a Indian stream is, is just this. Mostly of the time. So, I mean, we've got to get it out. It's, it's also just worse right now because, as we preface, most of our mental health is on a bit yeah, of a slump. Health. So don't, don't you can't judge us, okay? <clears throat> I don't know. If this is, I don't think I don't think that question is TOS friendly, especially considering. That's, yeah, let's not make it a poll. Definitely We're not making the poll. Let's not make. Guys, it a poll. I'll make a straw poll or post in the Discord. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Right. I mean, we oh, have a straw, straw poll. poll. Our Discord. <laughs> Wait, isn't straw poll dead? I fucking know. It's the half hour you subscribe for. Thanks, Shad. I appreciate it. Man. I'm pretty sure it's dead now. A lot, dude. Uh, speaking of our Discord, OSP? guys. Uh, you should join it. Yeah, speaking of something that's not talk dead. About D &D stuff. The first half hour is always Dutch wrangling in the kids. That's the, the entire show, motherfucker, is me wrangling yeah, the no, kids. Yeah, that's, that's just the whole show. <laughs> Why do I do this? I've been doing this five years. Five really years well of this. If you, do, if you do ever decide, though, to, like, do to have actual children think of all the training we've given you all the life experience i think <laughs> we yeah. turned away how many times you had to change my diaper dutch you know like at least dutch is the butt plug holding us back that one that was not a good one that's that awful great. I hate not, it, your good, not your best work i i met it's a low fucking bar but man look i'm sick that's probably top Great. five yeah, that's that's fucking shit, uh, bro. That's that's fucking okay. shit me. <laughs> Well, Korba, are you snacking like, we, on some shit today? I'm waffling over everybody until everyone shuts the fuck up. Korba, <laughs> any any snacks, guys? 
snacks? Any, any, uh, any snacks? No, because I burnt the shit out of my foot and it made me upset. He said I got no snacks. Okay, fair That's enough. All. all right, last we left off. <laughs> you're in the park for me to get ice cream spot on your foot. Oh, and then true. eat it. How did you, a bad thing to put on your foot is ice. Like How about you, like, you get a tub of, like, like a big ass tub of, like, vanilla ice cream. Instead of eating it, no, you just, like, melt it enough that you can squish your foot in it. Should I just sit in an ice cream bag and I, play Should I just fucking get some butter and do it and put it on there so it, like, fries the inside of my foot? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. That's good to me. So, children, we would all stay a while and listen. Older than you have um, been. Last we left off, <laughs> party uh, managed to get into a fight with the particularly nasty vampire named uh, Strahd from Darovich. Uh, and you bested him, not before he brutally shoved his fist through a Lazarin's chest, caught just killing him on the spot. Um, but uh, luckily, we were able to, uh, to bring him back. After you bested Strahd, Wall didn't have much time to kind of assess the situation or, or process what happened as the entire realm of Barovia began to rumble and, and shake and kind of became unstable and it was not long after that where the Raven Queen, one of the deities present in um, the Shadowfell and Aranya's deity of, uh, of choice ex showed up accompanied by her champion um, and explain to you that because the realm you were the, the area of, of of the Shadowfell that you were in, Barovia, was wasn't originally a part of the realm, and now that the dark magic that kept it there had been lifted, the Shadowfell was kind of expelling it, like getting rid of it, because it, the Shadowfell felt like it was being invaded and was trying to get rid of whatever land or or people or thing was there that didn't belong there um together with the raven queen uh, you were all transported back to eldar but what happened with barovia was that all these settlements that kind of still had people living there got mushed together to one large city that now has been dotted on the map of Keldar. Um, they elected Aranya to be the mayor until things were, were settled and, and set up. And they decided that they didn't want to rule alone, so Aranya decided to rule it together with the uh, Keepers of the Feather as somewhat of a, of a council. And then you were transported back home to Eldilon, the largest city in Keldar, the capital city of the Empire's presence on this new land. And you, for the first time in a long time, saw the sun beaming in the sky, smelled the ocean breeze, and, and anything that comes with that. And it was the first time in a while where you all really felt comfortable again. Comfortable to be in a place that you know and recognize, but also just being away from a pretty dark and and stressful environment that you've been in for like the past week or so. Mm. You got word that the, um, the council that you've been working with, your attempt to stop the night webs and figure out what the hell it is exactly that they want, um, finished up their work on the Helm of Aros, turning it into artifacts that you could use to your advantage. And you were told to come pick them up whenever you were ready to. But I believe, if I remember correctly, you all kind of decided to take a breather, take it easy for the night, uh, went around, you yep. know, hubbing, and, and eventually went to bed. I'm assuming that, you know, half of you stayed at the Friendly Giant, the other half went to the Weeping Mug, or, or... you all stayed at the same place? boy, baby! I'm a Carraff boy! Was I ever told 
where Celestia was staying. Because I think I we visited her at the Weeping Mug, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I probably would have gone there. Yeah, she has a room bed. I have, uh, in case it affects your decision, and I checked, it is written down in the notes, because I was like, oh, we're going back to a place where I can't walk around as a ghost without freaking people out. And I had limited options to possess, so I'm currently hitchhiking with Davian. So if you were gonna go hang out with Celeste, I'm kind of there too. <laughs> that affects How your much decision. of a voyeur is Daigon? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, also depending if you went too far from Brooks, I would have been bounced out anyway. Actually, because Brooks Wait, has the thing to? I'm tethered to, the meerkat. Uh, the meerkat plushie. So never, do. never we'll mind. Say, we'll, I might we'll... just be staying out of sight wherever Brooks is. Well, I was just going to gonna say, people. if there was anyone in the material plane that just would not be phased by a ghost hanging around, it's probably Celesti. Because well, I could also just be like, if you wanted a load time, be like, I'll go hang out like a somewhere within a hundred fifty foot radius away, and you could have your alone time. But I just need to make sure I'm not mm. seen by anyone. Mm. I'll just go under the bench. Don't worry. I'll oh, witness it. I'll just be here. Well, well, it, who else is going to the weeping mug? Because oh, fuck it, a sticky situation. Because I, I would take, I would I take would. the meerkat, but like, mm -hmm. you can take. Like, we're not gonna or... smash, but you, man needs some <laughs> fucking cuddles after however long we just spent in he like not hell, but you know what I mean. Well, basically, I'm gonna leave it up to you, and if you wanted to be alone, alone, I just make sure yeah. that I, I'll go hide somewhere. I'll find like a room that no one's using at the weeping mug, and just walk through the wall and chill there. Yeah, but it's like if it's Celeste fucking, if out. it's bedtime, <laughs> then I want you to have some agency. You I know don't what I mean? Sleep. I exactly. Just, I would... Honestly, I'd probably just be weird and like walking through walls I mean, and going through rooms and seeing who's at the hotel, like haunting people benignly and just like the, the sensible watching people sleep like a like, weirdo. We just rent you a room at one of many taverns and, and put I'll, the plushie I'll stay, I'll stay in the, the room. I'll stay the weeping mug yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Boom. Okay, sorted. Cool. Okay, well at least then Jax can be entertaining. Yeah, but yeah, we can like I guess we, we we would we would hang out with Celeste. You probably wouldn't fucking yeah. care that there was a ghost around no. as long as, but you know we, we would. Retire at some point. I think Celestia's been informed about that situation, right? It's like you've seen her since. Uh, I don't left. remember. Yeah, I've seen her yeah. since. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think. I don't yeah, think sure I'm pretty Vegas. sure Celestia is aware of, of, of the. We probably yeah, would have told her. I don't. I don't think we got like into the weeds of those interactions, <laughs> but it was just like, oh, I went and hung out with Celestia for a bit and probably like broke down. Before yeah. Dying died. Okay. Um. Right. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. That's a lingering soul, really cool concept of a class, uh, but also a race, I guess. But also uh, comes with some technicalities. <laughs> um, That's what makes it funny. True, yeah. Um, but you will all wake up feeling rested. Um, definitely still a bit of like exhaustion uh, from like like just mental drainage from how rough. The last week or so has been and uh elazarin hello uh even though you slept you long rested mm -hmm. uh you feel exhausted it die so you wake up suffering from a point of exhaustion even though you had a long rest oh you suck <laughs> you died <laughs> bro does yeah, but... my point of exhaustion go away? Yeah. You long rest. What the fuck is exhaustion in this fucking game? I found it. Uh, it's it's a condition. Where the fuck it? I found it. It's a it. condition. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that, uh, you know that you can you can hit up uh, the council at Tramliel's house at any point in time today. You can also choose to do whatever else it is you want to do. You have a lot of um, points that you can. Explore, as in you have a, a couple of avenues of 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 of, of un, unfinished business, or business you haven't even started yet, but you know you have to start at some point that you could explore. Um, <clears throat> is the Korath close, like closer to Tranios than the, than any of the other places, or are they all pretty close together? I can't remember the map of the city. My brain's it's gone. It's pinned. What was that again? Oh, yeah, but fuck it. Is where the elegant graph is mm -hmm. compared to like Tranlingel's house is that closer than like the we where the weeping mug is, like or is it like in the middle point? Yeah, uh, I don't have that much. It's about it. the same distance, right? Because it's yeah. it's in the. Uh, 
the map of Eldilon should be. It's not pinned. Is it not pinned? It is. It is pinned. Oh. I don't I've see it. I've got been it looking through them. Okay. Unless I'm missing it somewhere. The elegant carafe is fairly close to uh, the. Bro, we got a Galera lot. Of we got a lot of maps. We got a lot of maps. Lot of maps, lot of maps. maps. Yeah. <laughs> so the elegant carafe yeah. is, is. Yeah, it's uh pretty close to uh, Chamiel's house. Yeah. I'd say not much closer than Philly Giants, but a little bit, like a little closer. Shall we say we said to meet there for breakfast? Sure. Well, but, yeah. I mean, Brooks and Ren have stayed there anyway, so. Oh, would you, would you say the craft as well? Hell yeah. I'm getting nice. hampered, getting a bath. Nice. Mate, like, holy, I was just gonna ask, like, I need someone that's <laughs> just exuberance for a night okay. it's just a case of it's one of those places you can pay people to leave you the fuck alone that is yeah that's true <laughs> yeah if anything it's okay. more of a you said I... exuberant i think you meant exorbitant bro those are both very big words that i don't know the meaning of <laughs> yeah, bro that he's not he's, well she's not wrong Exuberant is enthusiastic, like overly enthusiastic. Exorbitant Energetic. is lavish, expensive, like da da da. Go, oh. Tampering. It's Add a that to your word over like five letters. That's just like <laughs> calm ourselves down, okay? <laughs> it's close enough. You knew you knew what I meant. Fuck you. Quite, but just try to type it next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get mixed match of the two words. Then. <laughs> okay. Fucking... So. Anyway, uh, I will. Would Brooks like go up early with his brother and like go on? Like breakfast, or we're just like. Well, yeah, brother's still with us. Yeah, yeah. already have just like. Yeah, would I see him in the breakfast? Like, yeah, we're downstairs yeah. having breakfast. Downstairs. Or uh, for I'm, 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 I'm spoiling Dining the boy because he's got. Yeah. I'm assuming, I'm assuming Oren has like no money on him. Uh, some not not enough money to afford anything in this establishment, no. Okay. Well, 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 it's funny, like, funny you, like you mentioned it though, because when you wake up and you you take Ren. Or, or Yorin to go downstairs. Uh, he's walking without any like help. He's he's moving around, which is something that, due to his like sickness previously, it's been a very long time since you've seen this man walk around on his own, unsupported, and able to walk down a set of stairs, let alone walking around in general. Brooks is bullying him mercilessly. Think me and Bell. Yeah. <laughs> but also, like, hovers around him as he, like, walks up and down stairs and that sort of thing. And uh, like, as you're kind of, like, m making your way to, to, like, the breakfast hall, the restaurant area of this uh, hotel, kind of looks around and... Is this the sort of place you... frequent? I... I'll be honest, I wouldn't say frequent, it's not necessarily my thing, but shut the fuck up and let me do something nice for you for once, Jesus oh, Christ. I'm not complaining about that, it's just, I feel like I should be paying money just to be able to breathe the air in here. <laughs> Turns out, people are willing to pay you a lot of money to nearly fucking die frequently. Seems like you found your calling, then. I... I wouldn't know about that, like... <sighs> Everyone else has so much shit going on. And I thought I was the simple one. And then we've been, you know, fucking through the ringer to get you, and I'm not saying that's your fault, but... <sighs> Everything's really complicated, and... I feel like everyone else is on, like, some grand fucking journey and doing important shit and, and you know, I just fucking, I just hit things. So, I occasionally throw things. I know that's not one for a meaningful, <clears throat> emotionally loaded conversation, but I feel like this conversation is some something we should have at some point. Regarding my situation, but how about we uh, put a pin in that? Dive into that. It's a kind of talk about it at some point, but just not now. 
because right now I kind of want to just decompress. Well, I figured the first thing you'd want to do is go to the fucking bookstore, but... Oh, yes. That would be nice. Um, Have you reached out to Dad yet? I mean, I could send a fucking letter, but... Anything more direct? Friends, perhaps? It's at this sort of moment you see, like, Aladdin stumbling, looking so tired and worse away, and I'm like, Brooks, what did I drink last night? I, like, slam head on table, just like, ugh! Maybe that'll teach you to not get fucking killed. What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, but it didn't it be. It is, it's his fault. But it didn't feel this bad when I died before. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> don't Died don't ask. I, no, no, no. Does this happen a lot? To no, those, just, just to those lot. I I'm fine. It's only happened twice. <laughs> Are we all here now? Is the whole group here? No, no, we're not there. No, yet. we're just we're just this crew. Well, um, I think for for me today, what I want to do is um, library bookstore. Maybe reach out to Dad if any of you might know how to do that a little more direct instead of I a letter. I throw a pastry off the table at Alastrin's head. <laughs> <laughs> how many words? Right, you're right. You got. You have twenty-five. <laughs> Write them okay. down, um, and I will, I'll send it over. Oh, I'll just tell him that. Um, we're not dead. I'm in Eldilon. Might stay a little while. Lots to tell. Would be nice if you would come here. Does that work? Perfect. I will cast Sending. And I'll just go... <laughs> so we saved your son, killed Strahd, he's in Eldalon, get your ass over here. <laughs> Just fucking the ends. <laughs> they can reply, right? Make take a fucking holiday. Can reply. Good morning to you too. Um see what I can do. Thank you. Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, he says he's gonna be yeah, you see, you see what I can do. Uh, God, I'm so tired. <laughs> so. All right, well, I don't want to Just. hold you up uh, any longer. Um, <sighs> brother, could I maybe borrow some money to maybe rent a room for myself somewhere for a few days? and So I don't have to... Well, you know, that way you can take care of business and do what you usually do without having to worry. Right. First things first. If you're gonna stay anywhere, you mm -hmm. can pick between the Weeping Mug or the Friendly Giant. We have friends in both who will make sure that you don't say something stupid and get yourself stabbed. <clears throat> uh, secondly, go to the fucking tailors. Get a decent pair of clothes. You you have Just like no luggage. You have nothing. You well and. I've... I did leave home with luggage and, and with, well, I, I don't suppose Strahd's castle got attached to the village that now stands where it is. I, I suppose all my stuff is gone, so maybe I should pick up some essentials. Uh, I will give him a thousand gold. I'm, okay, I mean, first of all, how much does it cost me to stay the night here for both of us? Sixty, seventy gold, including like breakfast and shit. Okay, I'll, I'll pay that in one then. Uh, I like forty give... gold for me, or like <laughs> six, seven gold. You get the you get the cleric tax. So like you're kind of around there. <laughs> you probably have four hundred. You pay extra. Like four. <laughs> no, it's all the expensive wine he drinks. True. <laughs> uh, the one bottle costs like. 
I will give Eorin uh, 5 platinum and 20 gold. Thank you. I, um... You stay at the... Um, uh, friendly Giant, right? We we tend to vary. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily your sort of place, but I have friends there who will make sure that you don't. That would it not be my sort of place? You know what? You're going to love it there. You can go find out, uh, look for a Goliath fellow behind the bar, tell him I sent you, tell him you're my brother. He'll love that. Make a... Make a charisma check. Straight charisma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventeen? Uh, he looks at you. Ruffle isn't. Technically, no. Okay. Regardless. But that's mainly for tax reasons. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go check it out, I suppose. Just, um, yeah, if you need me, find me there. Um, Please don't do I'll probably... anything stupid. I... Trust me, after all of this shit... Um, I think Who I've, do I I've know done... that I can pay to babysit you? I've, 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 I've had my fair share of stupid. All I'm doing today is buying some essentials, visiting the library, and... Go to the friendly giant. And I'll just stay there. How do I put this politely? If I have to come rescue you again, I'll kill you myself. That's a fair deal. Please don't do anything stupid. I won't. He gets up, and, and you can see now that he slept tonight. He also looks like... Remarkably less pale. Than you remember. Like, you can really see his, like, copper skin skin tone. Uh, whereas previously, even before, you you know, before, even before, uh, when he was, like, sick and all that, um, you know that, like, he, that, that coppery skin tone kind of got replaced by this, like, sickly pale <clears throat> you. Uh, now he looks like he's, like, never been sick. He looks healthy. And this is something that, I mean, he's been sick for as long as you know him, so this is the first time you see him healthy? Like, looking like shit. Not looking like shit, yeah. And he just kind of gets up and go considers going for a hug, but then he's like, eh, you're not a hugger. Yeah. So he's like, you miserable bastard. <laughs> Okay. Like you see, the, you can see the like the decision making. Like, oh, he's not really a hugger. Eh, you can see him, like half halfway going for, him, and then like, oh, never mind. Uh, but you say that, and he goes in for a hug, and then he uh, goes on his merry way. Uh, meanwhile, turn to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I look at Elijah and I go, "Is it weird if I find someone and pay them to sit outside and make sure that he doesn't wander off? I like, am I worrying just for the sake of it?" I let. I mean, a little bit, but also, like, you know, it wouldn't shock me if you start doing the same thing for me anytime I wandered in the city, so... Oh, I mean, I've told you plainly, the next time you wander off on your own, I'm gonna break your legs. So I shouldn't suggest that that's what I wanted to do this morning, and just go get the crown myself, but we'll, we'll get everyone to go do that. At the very least, we're going. You yeah, okay, do so. not have a good track record on going oh, places on your own. Fine. I will break your hands so that you can't use magic to heal when I break your legs. Fair enough. Uh, I just saw I like will just... strap you on like a backpack <laughs> and carry you around if you keep going off in like wrong. a papoose. The fuck's a papoose? It's like what it sounds like it's babies a in. Like the little thing that they strap on the front. To carry babies in. I've never had babies. Okay. Never been around mm -hmm. children? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go get- <laughs> We should probably go to the weeping mug. <laughs> I'm gonna... 
take as many of the pastries from the breakfast that I can. Okay. Before he fucking looks, mainly from me, being like, stop. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't care. I, I know we've paid for the bunch of books. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh. Nice. Good. Or me and my Russia Ray with all this it's pocket bacon. That was, a, that was a satisfying round. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you guys go make your way to the Weeping Mug. Meanwhile, aye, aye. while they do that, uh, over at the Weeping Mug, uh, Davy and Jax. Dagon, Celesti, I guess. Uh, let's, uh... So, that's how inevitably I killed the evil vampire lord, Stravon Zerovich. Yeah. Exactly how it went down. Celesti kind of like, like, she's laying on the bed, like, on her stomach, feet up, just like, head on her on her hands, just like, <laughs> just listening to you waffle. <laughs> I'm sure it was a little bit of a good effort, right? Well, you know, if I'm just out, I'll just be like, I won't verbal, but I'll just be like nodding out of sight. <laughs> I mean, in reality, the conversation would go, well, it would be tongue in cheek, guys. It would be tongue in cheek. I'm self aware, all right. <laughs> Although, if there was one person I could gaslight into believing that I did everything and get away with it, well, it would be Celeste behind closed doors, it would probably be Celeste. Probably. She's a uh, gullible. <laughs> well, let's just say, uh, you know, it's a little embellished. But and even in my own head, like I did a lot of, I did a lot of work in that fight. You did a blade. lot. You got yeah, a really that's... cool. You 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 did a lot of work with a real cool sword. Yeah. So it'll be a little exaggerated. Useful than I, I will was. give credit where it's due. All right. Anyway. Also, probably the night before it was probably really rough, and there was probably a lot of crying. So, feel much better now. <laughs> um, so, what's next? <sighs> I know I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, but I still that that invitation for help still is there, but uh, it won't happen for another. How long until your thing so. is okay? That answers that question. Um, you guys doing it? In time. Plans? I don't know. I didn't fall that far ahead. Oh, Fuck. There's the, Sorry. <clears throat> there's a thing we have to pick up. I, I don't know. I, I would guess we're doing that right away, but we might not. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, I have maybe. to go soon because I I, I promised uh, some, some clerics I would help them. Turns out that um, well, let's just say that their, their knowledge and information is a bit outdated when it comes to certain things um, and, and I opened my mouth about it and didn't stop and I did have this list of like 10 things they want me to do and uh, I said yes because I you accidentally enlightened the clergy yes. about what exactly well the stars Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, we'll see. And certain deities linked to it. They didn't know much. Oh! Hey! Hey! Speaking of the Astral Sea, I had an idea. Uh, looks at uh, Jax and Davian. So you know how we were still thinking about like a, a name? And they asked us, like, group name? What if we had... Because we've now been to at least three planes. Kess has been to, like, five. We've been to the Hells. We've been to the Shadowfell, been here, Elemental Plains. Um, what if well, we were like like the Plane Striders or Planer something? Like, I don't know. Some, have a name that tells well, people well, we've been to lots of planes. We haven't all been to the Elemental Plains yet. Have we? But no, eventually, eventually. Well, yeah, but there. I feel like it's a bit bold to be like, oh, we went to the Shadowfell. But we've still, been to, we've still been to at least three. That's that's two more than most people in their whole life ever get to. I've been to wherever you go after you die. I don't remember it, but I've been there. That's a fourth. Uh, well, I and mean, so, Kess so, is so from the the Wild, Wild, right? Yeah. Just just food for thought. Plus, if we needed a name if you're that wasn't to, ragtag fuckwits, even though I to, I do enjoy the ragtag. Trying to market yourself. 
Yeah. Because you are mercenary. It's just a so, you know, maybe bit more silly. exaggerating it a little bit doesn't hurt. And she kind of like yeah. playfully looks at Davian. And it's still technically not untrue if anyone were to press us. Who? Uh, what? Uh, I like the tongue in cheek charm of the ragtag fuck with something. It shows you don't take ourselves too seriously, but you know, some, maybe some of us do. Um. Some serious shit, so maybe slightly more serious name doesn't hurt. We do some serious plain, shit, like but planer, that, plain walkers, plain fingers. I don't know. Plain walkers. The things. real. That's the sort of the sort of fun of being the ragtag fuckwits is when you take down some kingpin fucking whatever, and he has to accept the fact, or she, or they has to accept the fact. Yeah. The, they were taken down by the ragtag fuckwits. Yeah, like Lord Strahd, ruler yeah. of Barovia for centuries, was defeated by the ragtag fuckwits plus Aranya. That does hurt the ego. Mm. <laughs> it is fun. This is true. But maybe if we ever need a cover name for some reason that does sound cool, like maybe we're trying to get an invite to like a fancy party or something to infiltrate, we could. this could be a backup name. That's, we'll, we'll pitch it to the others, but just some thought. Enjoy figuring out your name. Uh, Blaine Strauders isn't bad, I'll be honest. That is not bad. I have to go. Uh, I'll be at the at the Temple Districts. Georgia of the day. Anything? If not, then uh, I don't know. I'll be here tonight. Roll to kiss. <laughs> don't have to roll. <laughs> roll for D Riz. It's a DC sixty. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, she goes on her merry way. And at this uh, point, oh. Yeah. Uh, I know you're mourning the loss of the Sunblade, as am I. Oh, don't even. I, uh, oh, I, I have forgot about that. Very closely as good. Mm. Mm. And I'll hand you the Staff of Power. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. oh <laughs> it hurts my soul. Wait. Hold on. What the fuck does the Staff of Power do? Oh, Just many look things. At it. It's fucking insane you can break it and explode oh things. that thing but it has yeah. basically you can cast that gives you cool access spells. to like eight other spells plus or two to your it. ac fucking plus two to damage and attack rolls it's uh, i mean you can buff your strikes with it i'm assuming i have to uh, using charges yeah. yeah but you also lost an attunement yeah but i replaced so. that attunement with the frostbrand scimitar yeah, but the staff power is so much better. Yeah, I, I still have the ring of evasion in my attunement, so I'll probably go. Unless yeah, you're you a Dexy boy. Cone of Cold, you're Fireball, Glow of Vulnerability, Hold Monster. Like, like, unless you cast a lot. Yeah. yeah and I running. can't use it, so... I think you are the only one barring L. S that can attune to that. Yeah. Damn. Because it's, it's Warlocks uh, and Sorcerers. Warlock, sorcerer, sure, right? Wizard. Wizards. Warlock, Sorcerer, Wizard, yeah. yeah. Should have taken a little. Oh, a warlock, a sorcerer, and a wizard walk into a bar. And oh, they get a drink. drink. They all immediately Hello. die because they have you no hit points. They're squishy. Hello. Either sit up straight or put your camera down. Pick one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. You're, you're, you're like, sorry. Your head is like hiding like, like, behind your like break. nameplate, bro. It's like... Sorry. I assumed he was hiding on purpose. <laughs> I mean, that as well. I'll, just... I'll do a little bit of both. I'll, meet, I'll do a middle ground of both. Sorry. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> that should be a little hidden crocodile, boy. Literally. Um, yeah, I mean, that Staff of Power is uh, nutty. It's a doozy, man. Do I have it now? Yeah. It is now in your possession. Um, da, 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 da. Is there anything else I want to get out? Sorry, I have like a long list. Of uh, 300 platinum just to allow thanks. 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 I have 300 platinum. Oh, yeah, because it's for uh -huh. me. Come on. Suck my dick. <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh, okay, great. I think that's it for now. Okay, yeah, we can go meet downstairs and meet everyone else. Right, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna be looking like fucking Gandalf, dude. <laughs> so we're, around with the fucking we're just staff. we're just tr changing out your archetype every so often. Staff you know? in one hand and fucking ice sword in the other. Fucking <laughs> hell yeah. Okay, so Turn -off -ox. you. Uh, as you get downstairs, uh, see Lazarin and Brooks walking in as well, and you all reconvene downstairs in the Weeping Mug. 
those of you that still have to have breakfast can get some breakfast there for uh, a couple silver pieces a pop right um i pass out the smuggled uh carafe pastries or that that would work before we go downstairs can i look because are all the patrons in the weeping mug also crimson lotus members or are there any regular people in there's, here there's, if there's i can tell there's there's people that oh let's just say that the people you recognize you recognize from crimson lotus but, like circles okay. you're in but there's also I'm not 100 people sure. that you don't recognize okay then i'll go back and be like hey 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 oh well, i guess well now that i've technically left i, I guess i'm like hey no, I can't possess Jax either. Oh, God! I have to wait till Brooks gets here for someone to hide in. You arrived. I'm passing out pastries. Okay. I'll wait till you're there. I'll be hiding upstairs until I see you, and then I'll try and get downstairs without... With only being seen by Crimson Lotus members, if possible, because they would yeah, know. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You're sneaky. Oh. Um, Lazarin. Hello. Uh, I have something for you. Oh. And I'll hand you the two scrolls of mess and the human word that I have that I can't oh, use. Let's in the session. go. Um, so those are yours now. I'm deleting those. Uh, that a, a scroll? Scroll of mass healing. Oh, well, just spell scroll level level five spell scroll. Yeah. I'm just gonna re. I'm just there gonna rename go. it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's all I have for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, Jack. Reasons, right? Or... Yes. Remind Wait, me. What? Uh, basically, my same word. Who, where, at the beginning. Yes. You, you, you stayed at the Friendly Giants, right? That was your, like, first. Yeah. Yeah, that's where me and slash, did. Uh, home of choice? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, uh... I like it when you ask me questions. Uh... Soko, did you say Mass Cure Wounds or Mass Healing Word? Mass like, Healing Word. Oh, mass healing I word. wish they were Mass Cure Wounds, that'd be sick. Okay, that's why I, th that's why I thought, but my brain was like, wait, that's not right. That's not what it was said to me. <laughs> I could try to crash those, I don't know... Oh, yeah, those could come in handy. I don't know when I was going to use them yesterday, but I couldn't, so... Yeah. I, I, I assume since you can do the spell already, that you'll probably use a scroll, so... Yes, I found that with some other scrolls that we had. I've done... Not before. Perfect. Um, so, besides um, my... A list of selling things and picking up our thing from um dementia. I have it, not just Jax. Uh, Primus? That's who we're picking up from? Well, no, the yeah, council. The, the, like, yeah. Oh, so the, okay, it's just like the council as a whole, but, no, she, was, but she was yeah, the one yeah. in charge of like. Yeah. Okay. I think we have to go to Tranliel's house, but mm, yes, it was the Primus the who was house, doing yeah. the thing, yeah. Cool. Every meeting you've had with the council have, have always been in Tranliel's home. She has like a section in her home that it's for council meetings and, and whatnot. Okay. Uh, what else is on the um, docket, I suppose? Well, we still have a week until that thing Celesti was interested in, so that has some more waiting if we wanted to help. Well, and there's six days to the auction. We've also got something we need to That's decide what we're gonna do with that I don't really want to talk about unless we're in private. That's very true. Um, the bad stick. Let's get rid of that. Hmm. Get rid of that too. Probably should have given it to like. Or we, the... I mean, we need to get rid of it. It's just a case of how and where we're getting rid of it. We probably should give that to the Raven Queen or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like, at least ask her, like, hey, what's... Um, yeah, but we were busy dealing with other shit, let's yeah, be fair. That's true. Um, lost Brooks, lost in, in your head, you'd hear, well, there is <clears throat> one option we could give it to who is 
physically in the same building right now. I will. If we wanted to. Gigan's making the suggestion of mine and Kessa's and Gigan's mutual friends. I would not trust them with it. I hope you whispered that, considering where we're having this conversation. I mean, in our, like, relative so these, whisper. We're, we're like, 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 unless someone's actively listening in, like, we're just, like, huddled together. We're not shouting across the room. Yeah, yeah but there's so many people looking at you. Fuck it. Like, fuck mm. off. I'm I am back. I'm fucking staring down. <laughs> I'll burn this whole place down right now. Yeah, I hate that you, as a group, have somehow encouraged me to do, quote unquote, the right thing. Because, like, we could sell this for a fucking ton of gold. Yes, but also it's, you know. Yeah, oh, it's fucking terrifying. Like, yeah. Like, it needs to go really bad. What if we just guarded it? If we couldn't let this uh... guy keep a dragon egg, you're sure to fuck not keep nothing. <laughs> It's not about us. I don't trust us to guide this. I don't trust. Uh, I don't, well, okay, let's start with the assumption that I don't think any of us are stupid enough to use it. No, but we've come close to getting fucking deaded a few times, and also we've already got a sort of quite big target on our backs. Which will be great. Uh, if you sure, put a but if we're dead, on. I don't think it really matters to us. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we <laughs> die and it gets into someone else's hands, it won't be our problem anymore. <laughs> no, but there are a few people around that I actually care about, and... Well, they might be dead, too, at that point. If we die, I would assume we would try dead. to save them. They might be dead, too. I... As we were having this discussion, you see this, like, towering loxodon that you've seen before? It's the guy! Like, approaching oh with, like, you know, his, no, his no, tusks no, no, no. cut off with, like, two daggers down, like, down his waist. Made from his own oh, tusks, and he he approaches Metal. and puts this like <clears throat> large pitcher on the table. His Excellency says, "You smell like you've been to a pretty bad place," and he wanted to give you something to take the edge off. He just turns around, looks away, without saying anything. Can I do a? A check on the picture. Yeah, so make, like... a, make a survival. It's a we'll make a nature check, maybe. Nature check, a little yeah. nature. A little nature check. Why could it have been survival? That was so, so much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a huge. Seven. Fifteen. 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 Ooh. Yeah. So as you see him walking away and walking back towards like His Excellency's booth. Uh. And see this like you know this pale skinned Asimar with the black eyes and the long black hair just kind of like look at you and like kind of raise a cup and kind of, like and then you go and look at the actual contents of the pitcher yeah and whatever it is it's alcoholic you're not quite sure what it is but it's 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 alcohol no no uh, how strong does it smell no other Would shenanigans in there Would nothing I else. know what it is. Um, uh, maybe. Mm. Make a uh, fuck me. What do I make a roll for this one? Jesus. Okay, history, history check. check. Have you we seen? Need, on we menu? need to make an alcohol stat. Literally. No. Well, we'll say make a history check with advantage. Oh fuck! Has, I'm I, not I, good at history. I'm gonna do history or just straight intelligence. Yeah. Has Bro has Brooks seen on a menu before? <laughs> roll beer check. Has Brooks drank it before? Is maybe. more likely. True. Uh, with advantage. Eight. That is what I said. Eight. Uh, it, it it seems familiar to you, and like it smells a bit familiar, but you're not quite sure. Top of your I'll head. pour myself a cup and drink it, and make sure it's not going to kill everyone. Yeah, no, I mean, just very strong. It, it it seems like a very strong brandy, but the fact Vsop. that the fact that he gave it to you like in this super very large pitcher kind of gives you the sense of like, and and the fact that. You were told that he f thought you smelled like you've been to a pretty bad place. Is that he might think you just need a lot of very strong alcohol to kind of help you cope with some of the shit that he thinks you may have gone through? I mean, it looks like two days ago. Liquid copium. Yes. 
Oh, that's a good one. Yo, what does copium taste like? Like I said, it's <laughs> Elm Street. Like, like strong brandy. Strong brandy. It's brandy, yep. Randy. Jax will pass on that. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm interested in that shit. Bro, it's the morning, right? The only copium <laughs> I need is some strong orange juice and a fat blunt. I'll I'll have one. Yeah, kiss from Celeste. I mean, if 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 Davy and smoking, then I don't have any. Try asking. Why do you have some? I've had some for fucking months. Ages. He does. Like literally, it might be been smelling sat, a little off by now. Been sat like smoking. I mean, not months in game, but <laughs> been sat smoking outside taverns and shit. He's the reason why this entire street smells like weed. Is it illegal here? No. Nah, man, everyone's like the Netherlands. No, fuck around and code. find out. <laughs> it's a little, like, frowned upon to smoke it inside, right? Like, it's... Yeah, don't smoke it inside, because you'll stink the entire place up. But other than that, no one gives a <laughs> shit. No, not really. Crack, that, uh... however. Yeah, I was about to say, whatever that other shit was... That's Pixie probably dust. Good. Moon sugar. So. Skooma. What is it uh, <laughs> you guys would like to do? Add your breakfast. But give him this pitcher of brandy. Well, yeah. Who what, just, isn't, can we not, can we just fucking hand off this evil cast bullshit and be done with we it? Do, we could I, do, I just don't like it. To don't go. want to. I want to hand it off to someone that's not just going to put it on a shelf somewhere. I want it to be like, goodbye, gone forever. Are you, you implying that you want it destroyed? Yeah. What, what if we threw it yeah. to a volcano or something? You saw oh, it. No, I, I feel like, you know, there's some sort of balance, right? Of like... Energy. Yeah, but that's like really bad. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> yes, but it's also probably very hard to destroy in the first place. Oh, probably. And who knows what kind of fucked shit it'll unleash if you try and destroy it, or if you don't do a good enough job, or... It's full of curses, and you break it, and they fl like Pandora's box suddenly it could, fucking. It could fill literally the world. kill any one of us if we try to use it. Yeah, we're not going to try and use it. I'm saying we hand it to someone who puts we're it past in a the vault. Point of using it. No, but you know what happened with the bones, right, David? <laughs> I'm not like trying yeah, to but we the left the bones in the care of a bunch of fucking. Yeah. You know, it's not, not very educated care of... people. So I mean, we're going to keep it then? No, 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 no. We don't want it. We want to get rid of it and give it to someone. It's just who do we think else. is going to um, keep it? Why don't we just sell it in the place? auction? Will like the because worst option. will the Lotus give us money for it? They definitely. Brooks, if you hear in your head, it, they see. definitely would. Uh, we could also, if you want to, give it right to the source because the amulet that we used in Brovia was very similar to one that Kess and I procured for them a while back, and Elsa Nil double-checked and assured us that that original amulet was still absolutely where no one could reach it. Like, who no did, Yeah, who did we get that it. fucking demon toe to, or whatever it was? You know what I'm talking about? That was Elsa Nil. The, the fang? Or whatever yeah. it was? Yeah, Elsa Nil. From the Nil. church. Yeah, that was the Red Lotus boys. If I'm being totally honest, we just fucking dragged our asses through Vampire Town for however long. And I'm trying to cut a fat check. Like, it's something. Well, we'd Actually, get paid if we gave Crimson it to the Crimson Lotus. Right. Oh, yeah. I we can just negotiate. Don't, we don't have to give it to them. I we don't like the don't... I mean... Saying, I'm not a huge fan of the amount of items apparently that they... I'm saying this quite harsh. Like, obviously. Because I'm not going to mm. be like, okay, so... No. I don't like my items they've apparently procured and that we've got for them. I don't know where the fuck they're going. And it all it takes is for one fail safe to go down and suddenly... This whole operation of going gone is fucked, okay? I don't I'll be honest. Funny enough, I don't have the most trusting of big organizations. I mean... Not about it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Not the magic man. As far as I'm aware, it goes into her own fucking private plane shit. Yeah, it doesn't go into it. a warehouse that the Crimson Lotus has all these items. Like, it's going somewhere but extra magic can, But magic can fail. <laughs> It can all come crumbling down in an instant. 
if someone's pound off to Do want you it. have a better suggestion for somewhere we could put it? Which should we avoid talking about no this until else? we as have the crowd? I've never, I've never said I had a better suggestion. As you're continuing having this discussion about this, at this point you can see like on like the the balcony above and like around you, there's people looking at, you, including His Excellence from his booth. He's like entertained, but also like looking at you while drinking from his cup. Just like. I'm open to suggestions if you have a better one. If you don't, but this is what we're doing. Why don't we table this until after we have the things that don't let us I be I don't want that. I could, uh, I could ask me. me. Alright, go for it. If that doesn't oh, work, we're doing this. Sake. Deal? If Joaquin doesn't go... Listen, if Joaquin isn't on the oh. side of make some fucking money with it, little man, then <laughs> she's fucking talking shit. I say we do talk to Joaquin. Now think about it. Golden Lady. I'm trying I'm trying to get a payday, man. I that was not worth the trauma. See, and now, Brooke's not even gonna I've fucking pay me. No how I'll try to save questions here. So this is going I to gave be... you some fucking pastries. <laughs> I will oh, I'll thanks, s- I will start. What, what, what do you want me to that? What do you want me to pay you? Carson Commune, as a You can trauma. have a dagger. I'm not asking you to pay me. I'm yeah. just saying you're you not going to have some wheat or some fucking burning bush. Well, let's double check you if it's been have enough time for me to do it where it doesn't have a chance to fail. Turn your ginger. You, can pay me. Like good. you can pay me by throwing your lot in with the side of people who want this thing sold to the Crimson Lotus. That's how you can pay me. I'm already on that side. There you go. Okay. I wasn't... Right. Lazarin, you passed the commune. Okay. Yeah. Which allows you to ask... How many questions are you in? <laughs> Three questions. Three questions that are uh, yes or no. Your your deity of choice. Um, well, it's just because it's your deity. Yeah. Or a divine proxy. Well, would you not say that her. Joaquin is your deity of choice? Could you imagine this whole time and they're like, it's uh, right. <clears throat> as right. As As you <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> cast commune. Yep. Hey girl. It takes a little while and eventually you hear a voice in the back of your head. Making a habit of this, are we? I just got a lot of questions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'll, uh, uh, is it, is the rod going to be safe with the, uh, red lotus? Crimson. Crimson lotus. Same. You know, she knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, yes. Hmm. Would you prefer it if it was destroyed? Or we made, like, money from this. Why not both? Huh. And I'm just going to end the spell there. I only asked two. <laughs> and I was like, okay, bye! Okay. Is my dad mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine cool. not getting your money's worth. What a fucking loser. Just oh, straight up offending your deity. Hey man, I got the answers I need. I mean, she didn't really want the questions. It I'm not gonna like, fucking waste her time. He like he, he wasted his money. I didn't think it cost Thirst! fucking nothing. Bless you. It cost you nothing. Well, it's it costs like yeah, it's a ritual. Cost. It didn't cost. Bless you. Yeah, costs nothing. There's no uh, no money components. Wow, imagine casting it as a ritual so you don't have to spend money on your deity. I have to spend money anyways. So, I just had to said, it. though, yep. uh, Lazarin. Uh, yep. Bless you. Sorry. My dude sneezing nearly as much as I am. Anyways. Uh, what is your 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 decision? Are you guys doing? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll turn like oh yeah, I'll turn to go like so. Well, Queen, totally down with selling this fucking thing, guys. It's apparently it's safe here. It's you know like we can get, but I said like, should we like? Did you want me to like destroy it or? To make money, and she went, Why not both? So, fucking payday. <laughs> not to, um, shit on your connection with your deity. <laughs> but how do you know you're actually talking to your deity and not, and like, Asmodeus isn't like intercepting it and just appearing as your deity? Well, I couldn't talk to her ever, and now I can, and it just feels right. I and love how the fact. Long have you like, no, no, I'm sold. It feels right. We're saying it. That's just a vibe check. It just, I love the fact that just tell. he's the one asking <laughs> about deities. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it works, man. Jax, At this point, Jax, it's, you kind it's, of see this. I kind of want to get tall, the uh, like 
pale like ASMR. <laughs> kind of like kind of like very like, like hands behind his back, just just like step in, like almost like he's like ice skating yeah. through the pub. Like yeah. like he's very just like his movement, kind of like moving around very floaty until he gets to your table. He's like Essex. Mm -hmm. So, are you done trying to discuss what to do? Are you ready to make? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. I shouldn't be listening to people's conversations. It's very rude. Well, you are but in now my that you're here. pub. Oh, that's true. Fair enough. Uh, just but... because he's looking, you're just gonna see again, like ghostly tabaxi claws. Just my hands going to pop out of Brooks and in sign language, just sort of just say, for reference, I voted to give it to you guys. He just like looks. Hello, Dagon. Right. I so, understand and he just like kind of like sign. his voice begins to like kind of like boom. Mm -hmm. He just begins to like like his 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 eyes kind of like you can see like black veins kind of appear around his eyes as he turns back to like one group of people specifically. I think it's time for you to leave, and they all just scurry. And basically, what he's doing, he's sending everyone away that's not a part of. The Crimson Lotus, so that you can talk freely. Kind of that like... can't be good for business, surely. Luckily, that's something you don't have to worry about, as it's not your part, yeah, is I'm, it? I, I, I'm fucking feeling that maybe uh, ale and meat aren't their main source of income. Just, a, just a, you know, an inkling. But... Well, better board isn't there. Uh, as you, or most of you should know, is that... We once started as an ordinary thieves guild, so we have our fortunes made. This is merely think of it as retirement plan. Front. Front. Retirement plan. Either way. Well, we have got a trade proposition for you. <laughs> Lots have... of money in yeah, exchange. Yeah, you give us a fuck ton of money. <laughs> no, um, but we have um recently procured an item of great power but also great danger and, so. be and believe that you would be the best people to uh deal with it shall we say mm -hmm. but... and i'll kind of look at brooks and be like sure <laughs> hold, on, hold on hold on before we before we get into this i'm just curious do you uh perhaps do do you own much sort of property in in elderland <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Why is that? Well, we might be in the market, and I'm just wondering about this mm. bartering. Maybe we might end up coming out of this deal with a little plot of land, uh, guild hall, perhaps. Uh, I, would, with a... I would offer you that, but uh, as my sources tell me, I believe there's already a bit of land waiting for you once you go discuss with the council what it is you have to discuss. We in council houses. Okay. We're getting some... <laughs> We're getting some renovation funding then. Uh, what I was able to pick up from the conversation is that... A very hushed conversation. Right, of course. Is that some of you are doubting whether or not the item is safe with us. And let me ask you this. Would you feel better if this item were destroyed forever? Out of your eyes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh. Well, see, I have this whole Pandora's box theory going on. I don't really know, you know, if that holds water or not. But just it just it could go wrong. The implications okay. of completely destroying wrong. something we so evil seems like might could have be have a bad. lot of dangerous items in our possession. This is correct. Our mistress keeps most of them, but some that we deem too dangerous for even us to hold do get destroyed. And if this item you're discussing is as dangerous as you fear it is, oh. it will be destroyed. But first, so before what? I'm able to pass judgment on that, I would have to know what it's what? about. What do you know of Asmodeus? <laughs> right. Um, bad. Very bad. Well... Being what I am, unfortunately, comes with a lot of knowledge of our opposite, shall I say. We have yeah. a staff. Or rod. 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 
mm. rod. Made of looks like sort of made out of you know, metal ruby. Just looks very ruby colored. Um, seemed quite. None horrific. of you have tried to use it. Oh God, no! Uh, no. Oh, We're Ooh. stupid. We're not. If it is what stupid. I think it is, we'd be dead. You would be dead. Yes. We say we're all here. We're all good. Well, no, for I get one of you. Dagon, oh, Dagon died defending the Dark Eight. I mean, that's. Uh, I know. And also, Kess is, you know. Yes, I just away. Her absence. She's vacationing. Uh, Beachside. Sure. So. I guess I'll sort you have it on you. Gesture to you have it with you. I you kept it very will secure. Okay. Pull it out <laughs> in the wrapping that I made for it so that it's not fucking so that nobody's touching it smile mm -hmm. put it on the table he looks at it, he kind of like unfolds the cloth from around looks at it hmm interesting where'd you find this wait oh was, this, was it just in a fucking the fuck did lady, we fight? Lady Let me pull up. I wasn't notes. there. It was, it was just Lady Vi Wait, yeah. this yeah. is the rod that I got twatted with, like twice. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, in Barovia. Can't say I've heard of that place before. Shadowfell. It's the relic of Asmodeus in the Shadowfell. It yeah. wasn't in a great, like it was a bad neighborhood in the yeah, Shadowfell. No, to be fair. One could argue every neighborhood is a bad neighborhood. No, it wasn't no, that like, bad. no, well, like this. This woods. was a bad neighborhood. Mm. Right. See the vampire Strad, like his neighborhood. Can't say that rings a bell. Sorry. Hey, he was uh, eleven. Let you go. This guy? <laughs> Disappeared. Small, small corner. Barovia. Small mind. corner of the Shadowfell. Keep in mind that like this area disappeared and Strad disappeared from this place. Centuries and centuries. Over a thousand years centuries ago. ago. Like, yeah. yeah, but. Come on! I, Who this fuck is? <laughs> I mean, we hadn't heard of him until we went. I tell you what. Right. Ne next time you <laughs> get a chance, next time you get chance, ask Elsinel about Shroud and all that shit, and then you'll know how fucked things have been. It's what Elsa goes. Fucking who? Elsinel knows. Elsinel knows. Who mega like, lol? Yeah, who mega so lol? The Elsinel sent Dagon and Kess on a yeah. little Shroud related thing. Yeah, yeah our back. session zero session was zero. Shroud related. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you want this destroyed. Uh, it's probably the right call, but you also want a finder's fee, which I can respect. How about, given the strength of this artifact and how many lives it could have destroyed, were it in the wrong hands still to this day? Give you, well, I would give you 4,000 gold if we were able to keep it, but he, you keep it, he you opens, keep it. He opens his like <laughs> holds and takes out a small file. This stuff is quite expensive, but it will be able to destroy the artifact right before our eyes. Before our eyes, but <clears throat> I'm going to have to get this replaced. Instead of the 4,000, I'll be able to give you 2,500. He can keep it, right, guys? They can keep it. They don't have to destroy it. They yes, can just keep it. You don't have to destroy it. It's fine. I don't think the morality of this item still being around is worth twenty. It's worth 1,500 gold. I think... Uh, Lazarin, I think we've said goodbye it. to morals a long time ago. No, I haven't. Dagon, what do you think? Oh. Um, I, again, ghost hands, sign language. Um... I leave that to more intelligent minds than mine. I didn't ask more intelligent minds. Ah. I'm asking you. I would like to just interject and say that Dagon, I'm as a ghost, talking. probably biased. As a respected member of my organization, your opinion counts just as much as anyone else's. Probably more than the people at the table that aren't a part of Zoe. So please, don't hold back. What do you think? I would sign in an ideal world 
I would like it destroyed, but I know our group did go through a lot, and it will stick with us for many, many years. But I'm... it probably should be destroyed. Brooks. I'm Being just gonna throw the it other out member there. At the table. What do you think? It, it, it's not 1,500 gold. To each of us, it is 250 gold. The question is, is... Is this thing not being around ever worth 250 gold to you? And I would say, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to pay that to not have it. I'm not normally the fucking morally good... Like, this thing fucking terrifies me, and I... No. I got smacked with it twice. It wasn't that bad. Right. With your opinions. As the only one who has first-hand experience, you know, I'm just saying. I have seen a lot of fucked up shit in this past week. I don't want it around. Well, listen, See, I'm only asking to... you these questions because... Well, you two, because I value your opinion. The other three people at this table, I don't really give a false. My mind's already been made up the moment you put the relic on the table. I just wanted to weigh in your opinions. Well, just to... Uh, what would you do in our shoes? I don't think that's what he's asking. You're being I'm tested. Well, he's I already made his mind up, but my I'm opinion, still allowed to fucking ask. But I would try to hang. But you didn't. Regardless, I was kind of trying by well, implying we've been through a lot. But regardless. 3,000 gold. <laughs> your two answers, Tygen, Brooks, do show that you still understand the importance of what we do. It means a lot. It means you aren't straying from the path. That's for sure. With that said, and he opens up, he uncorks the vial and like begins to like pour it over the rod and you can see the rod beginning to disintegrate before your eyes like he corks it again it's the empty vial back in his pocket <clears throat> oh. Oh. oh this got crashing no biggie no nice. biggie yo love, that. love that i could have haggled and didn't disconnect yo <laughs> dude you're the dm now change your price um yo <laughs> And you see, you see the, 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 the artifact beginning to disintegrate, like, in front of you, on the table, beginning to just completely turn to dust. Thank fuck for that. But, that? this was a vial of disenchantment. Just for academic purposes, where would one acquire or make that? That's a question you'll have to take up to us. With that, the item destroyed, the world's safer place. He puts 2,500 like gold, or I guess 250 platinum on the table. Oh, and <laughs> for your honesty and your opinions, adds another 1,000 gold. So 350 platinum. Yes. <clears throat> But uh, wait, no, is it in platinum or is it's it split between the two? It's in platinum. Humbly, uh, to everyone present at the table. So it's 700 gold each because these are divided by five. No, it's not because we also need to divide for Kess. No, fuck Kess. Mm. There's five of no, us. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's going to divide. Five. We're setting 50 aside for fucking Aranya and we're taking oh, it yeah. to her. Yeah. So it divides 350 divided seven ways. That's that's also fair. Yep. So, that makes it easy because seven. That's, divides that's fifty each. Yeah, it's fifty five. Five also made sense. Everyone needs to now exhibit that they can do basic arithmetic. I respect that. <laughs> so how much are we getting each? So fifty. That's fifty. Gold, guys. It's fifty gold. Guys. It's three fifty divided by it's seven. It's not fifty gold. It's fifty platinum. Fifty platinum. Mate. You can have fifty gold. Your fucking brother was saving. <laughs> oh, I've already given my brother money. Fuck off. Yeah, you got What's... your brother back. That's your reward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the, we get his money. Does that mean that when we go do shit for Davian, Davian gets no money? Yeah, yeah, because I'll be getting fucking and when we do stuff ungodly for me, we warlock don't powers, and so I don't fucking need money when I've got that. Or fifty pound or whatever. But with that said, my own's gold. You guys got paid. Yeah.
the, the, the magical artifact gonna be, uh, has been destroyed. Uh, As you kind of like, you wait if you like, say a minute after the liquid was poured on it, there's nothing left. Nothing left of the entire artifact. It's completely turned to dust. Does anyone else feel different? Like a great evil was removed from the universe? Because I don't feel anything. What my pockets are. Less terrified that I'm gonna snap in the night and kill you all. You're just more comfortable <laughs> with the idea. It's not that it's any less likely. You're just not scared of it anymore. I've. <sighs> He's embraced it. Mm. The shadow fell was not good for my uh... feelings sure. around my own safety and the safety of those around me. Oh, the paranoia. Yeah, that's been fantastic. Recently. It's all right. Yes, I'll just send on my tiptoes to kiss my girlfriend. So if you try to beat me up, I'll just call her. Uh, did His Excellency walk away? Yeah. Uh, perhaps we should speak outside. I have a proposition for the party. Uh, maybe on a way to... You'd have get to get up. me really drunk first. You're not my type. Uh, I... Brooks, you're saying you don't want to try that? Cross off the list? He's old, though. More experience. Be like fucking Dr. Manhattan or whatever his name is. Um, <laughs> Brooks, you just hear in your head, but think, but look at the size of his hands, though. On the blue man group. But you've got like 40 <laughs> minutes of foreplay before anything even remotely resembles a trap fight Dagon like a vial, dude. Um... Dagon doesn't have her own, like, baggage and shit at the moment, right? No, the only thing that the meerkat is with someone right now, and then um, Jax is nice enough to keep my journal in the bag of holding for when I want to write in it. That's Let's all. Your gold. I will... My gold is on my body in Kess's vessel. Oh, well, I mean, this fucking... gold. This gold, um... I guess I would, I would have picked it up. I, like, I, would tell Brooks, I would tell Brooks to hold on to mine for now until i can put it with other so stuff. i'm holding on to mine i'm holding on to dagon's and then i'm holding on to kess's but it's not me holding on to kess's it's dagon holding on to kess's but mm. so i have 150 platinum brooke's about to put it all on fucking <laughs> Don't well, they well, well, yeah. no i'm yeah. i'm not gonna be that guy like i'm spending all i'm not gonna add it to my inventory so okay. as we get up to leave Start walking to the council chambers, I guess is where we Yeah, like in, in, yeah, well, in Tranmiel's yeah. house. Tranmiel's house. Um, so, uh, as we were talking, we have about six days until we have something to do here. Mm -hmm. um, with the auction and all that. I was wondering how you guys would feel about pursuing something for me. Go on. Uh, well... Now that we've been through the hells, and I know a little more. I, I'd like to investigate the death and destruction of my town and my family. Oh. And we can do that over the course of the next... Are you saying after the auction and everything? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I, I just figured I'm out just... the auction we were going to help Celestia. Right, yeah, so what? This is just going to take a little bit. Well, um... Hmm. Pulling out map here. Super far from uh, you, bag you, I'm assuming map. you want to know how far, like how fast the travel is to Yeah, yeah, well, cause it's not super far. By road, it'll be a few days, but you can charter a ship from the port in Eldilon, and it will just, it will take you there within a day, if the wind allows it. Okay. So we can get there within a day by ship. Um, I, I don't know what we'll find or if we'll find anything at all, but I have some new needs to look for. A man named Rakard Pierslow. Or as you guys heard him called. Um, fuck, where is that called? What's this name? Uh, you're efficient. Us? Efficient. Th that was the name he was given by the um, uh, Tieflings. Else. Uh, I would tell Brooks oh. to relay to you that I'm Dagon's down. Dagon says sure. Doesn't <laughs> hesitate. 
I will. Um... Daigon is practically frothing at the idea. They sound okay. Hurt. Let's calm down now. They're really excited to happy to help you out and yeah. Give, I can okay. hear the smile. <laughs> Give Jax a pat on the on the back and it's like, do you even need to ask? Everything that you've done, you've. I just wasn't sure if we had something more pressing. Uh, I don't Fuck expect no. it to be a long trip. But... I feel like we constantly have a to-do list that's longer than... I'm not going to carry that on because we're in certain company, but... Brooks, we've all seen you naked. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, who says I was talking about mine? <laughs> okay. Hmm? It's what I was saying. It can't be that long. <laughs> Uh, we have a very long to-do list at all times. Nothing's really pressing unless... You know, like, obviously at some point, Kess is going to turn up and be like, all right, fuckers, and then that's going <laughs> to throw shenanigans to the wind. But In an ideal world, maybe she gets that whole situation dealt with while she's gone, and she comes back and it's like, hey, guess what? In an ideal it's world, fine. maybe her dad doesn't try and guilt Pippa into dealing with it after he's Did been you... out them for years, but... Do you think she'll come back with another story about, like, stealing chickens or something? No, she's going to come back with another story of throwing children off cliffs. No, she's going to come back yeah. with a, hey, I defeated a dragon by myself. Here's how. Yeah. And no, she's going to it. plant more of those hearts inside the trees and have those things. Oh, oh yeah. She's maybe just going to do all of the above. Maybe she's finally going to confront her mom. Oh, fucking hell. Without us, she knows we want to be there to watch it. Yeah, because we'd stop her from killing her. <laughs> I tried to. And so, um, anyways, uh, so uh, we're all okay with that. Oh, hundred percent. We have to tell us sort of more as we start going there. Uh, Let's get this course. crown first. We'll get the crown first and deal with that, and then we can, you know, yes, yes, have yes. this conversation. And we'll head over to Tranials. Sounds good. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for a fucking document that I saved under a name that I don't remember. But when the party picks something that Dutch wasn't expecting. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, that I was semi expecting, but also I was but like, I, I saved this three. file ages ago and now I gotta fucking yeah. dig it up real quick. So give me two. You know, talk That's among yourself as you're walking over to Tranials' house. Dutch, literally the always sunny meme, like everything yeah. across the wall. <laughs> just... so, you know, I mean, a little, a little bit of detail you can tell now, Jax. You know, just uh, yeah, yeah, fill us in. Just a, not not don't need that the full story just yet. Well, we got the whole trip, but... Well, what what are we at the beginning? Uh, the end? No. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, my parents came from wherever Dolkin. Uh, it's a different plane. Not getting into grandparents? Where do uh, the I, I don't from? know. Georgia? Parents. Louisiana. I actually don't know where Fidalcon I don't remember where Fidalcon are from. are from Georgia. Are they from like, the actual plane? Or are they from like. No, it's it's like. It's, it's that Vidal same. Vidalcon Vidal Vidal City. Vidalcon City. <laughs> Vidalcon Island. On oh, Vidalcon Vidal Road. I know they came in the Rav Ravka R Ravnica. Ravnica. They're probably from Ravnica then. Could be, no, it, they, if it's Ravnica, like it'd be fucking plane, anywhere. Okay. I'm finding nothing. Cool. Great. Because I'm waffling. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. So then. When was the last time you quit that? Uh, 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 last uh, time fucking this name came up, which is uh, a few months uh, ago. From the plane of Alara. <clears throat> um, Alara? I hardly know. As you arrive at uh, Tranliel's house, uh, a couple of guards that uh, recognize you by now and it's kind of. Uh, she she expecting you? Uh, probably. Alright. <laughs> on the door and the door opens and you can see <clears throat> this like uh, 
elven servants kind of op uh, poke their head out and look at you. Ah, oh, yes. I was told to expect you at some point today. Come in, come in. Perfect. And I'll, I'll in turn. Uh, I believe they're in a, they're in a meeting right now uh, in, in, in the usual room, but they did tell me to just send you in whenever you arrived. So, by all means, uh, you know the way. And I'll uh, head towards the room. I'll do a polite knock on the meeting room door before I open the door. Not just gonna fucking. Hey, what? what, what? <laughs> just gonna. You hear like a lot of in. like talking happening on the other side of the door, and then as you knock, that's suddenly just like suddenly just quiet. As you hear some, door, my head <clears> some footsteps walking over to the door and opening it up, you see Tranliel. Ah, good morning. It's good to see you all. Hello. Come in, come in. You can see the entire council is there. You see uh, Captain Blackpaw, Peter Riz, uh, Prime Zalasari, herself. Uh, don't see General Kron. She got no. relieved of duty. She got that relieved of her position. Um, like. No, it was just like last time you spoke to her to them. She's been framed, remember? She for like... she, she retired. Yeah, she had helped the she Nightwebs. Retired because yeah, she was in due the, to the pressure pocket. they had on on her family, so she didn't really have a choice. But yeah, that did mean that for the public eye, at least, she had to relieve her her station as general. I mean, and and she's the lucky that she wasn't held, you know, for treason. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, the rest of the council is all there. They all uh, they all greet you. And, uh, friendly will we'll look at you all and, uh, have a seat, have a seat. Points at some empty chairs that they put there seemingly because they were expecting you today. Pull up a chair. Looking super fucking worse for one. <laughs> uh, we were having a, a discussion about something, but we can shelf that for now. Um, and, and, and she will just look at the Primus. Do you... Inform them of, of your work. And Prime Zalastari stands up and uh, she puts a small metal case on the table. And look at you all and... So, as you know, um, we tried to turn the artifact you brought us into tools to help you trace members of the Nightwebs. Um, and we succeeded. And she opens up the metal case and you can see six... Um, like silver chain necklaces with a small glowing green gem encased in more silver attached to it. I have a little little image that I that I fucking have to kind of like show you, and I'll show it the stream as well. Uh, let me just quickly send it to you. Ooh. Oh, Dad brought handouts. Yeah, this is just some like AI generated shit that I'm. Dad brought handouts. Looks cool. I sent it in. Yes, group chat as well. Pretty cool. Doesn't really match my skin tone. That looks like a testicle, like with all the tubes. Okay. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> uh, How does it work? Epididymis. What she just called me? <laughs> <clears throat> How does it work? Um, we'll get to that. Um, with this at your disposal, um. There's one for each of you. Should give you a small edge against them. Um, and you can all take one and add uh, an item to your inventory in D&D Beyond that should be there for you. Called the Nightweb Detector, I believe I named it. Nightweb Detector. Legendary uh, one. And then if one of you wants to just read the text, so that you know, you can, that one knows what it does, and that does as well. Do you want me to read it out? You want me to read? Oh god. Oh, I mean, it can't be any worse than his spelling. I can't find Can you guys see it? Yeah, yeah Night Web spelled with a K. Sure you... Night yeah. Web with a K. Night. Night as in. Yeah, come on, boys. Is that so how it's always been spelled? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's, the whole, that's, that's the whole point of like, the spider We clarified this like session two. Yeah. I haven't put it wrong the whole time. Don't worry, I have two. A small piece of white and blue metal encasing a small green glowing gem attached to a silver chain. These are what remain of the artifact of the sundry known as the Helm of Eros. Use oh, it well. They're not going to be happy. This necklace has five charges. As an action, where I can expand one charge to gain advantage on any perception investigation on insight checks they do to figure if the person they are investigating is part of the nightwebs. 
As an action, where I can expend two charges to activate an invisible 60 foot radius sphere centered on them, and loose them when the night web enters the sphere. The sphere lasts for one minute. Necklace regains all use up charges after a completed long rest. There you go. Uh, I'll ask I Brooks think. to hold on to mine for now, and I'm going to have to consume I'm the enchantment <laughs> to use it. Yeah. But I can uh, do that. I can absorb its ability. It doesn't require attunement. But I still can't physically hold no, or have items. Kinda, so I'll consume will, the enchantment just to do that. Yeah. Is it possible to carry it without wearing it as a necklace? Like I can't I... carry anything. So... No, for me. <laughs> fuck, I oh, can try okay. and wear it as like a like, can, I put, like, it, like, can I put it on as a... Sure, man. Because Use I've got two necklaces on as it is. Use it as a fucking... Yeah, same, but I, I, I'll wear a third. Do not miss yeah, it. Yeah, I'll wear a third. It's, it's, it's a common trend, the multi-layered necklaces. Yeah. Like, that's a thing yeah. people do. But yeah, I actually so... just attach them all to the same chain. Just Because there's six of you, it's uh, like a you have Start a lot of charges every day legs. to help you figure out if people that you're talking to are night webs, Or if people around you are night webs and you're like, oh, we're in a place that we haven't been to. Boop, turn that on. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Or just stand in the middle of the like main street, turn it on, and just have a nervous breakdown with how many pings you get. <laughs> yep. I go down. I go down that one street that we know is like nightweb filled. I'm like, ah! <laughs> uh, as you kind of like all take a, a necklace. Uh, Peter Riz stands up. With um, that said, we have some intelligence we'd like to share with you. Um, as of right now, don't know exactly. The Nightweb's plans are. Which is frustrating, but also we're used to it. And for Lazarin, you will know that these people tend to be a few steps ahead. But we've had some help. And we found the location of one of their lairs in the city of New Daramuth, which we established as kind of their main hub. In this new land. They have several places or bunkers or lairs there, but we found one. We are still making up the report and scouting, uh, but we've had help from someone figuring this all out. And we will reach out to you when we think it is time for you to infiltrate the lair and hopefully find some intelligence on what it is they're planning. And in the meantime, there's one more thing we'd like to give. And he rifles through his pockets and tosses a set of keys on the table. Hey! And uh, Chan Liel will take over. We decided to give you guys a property in the city. It's not much or big, but it beats having to live in pubs and other public places. We have a place to retreat to in case things go bad. On the paperwork, this house belongs to a Richard Smith. Smith a fake name, so no official record of you living here. And you'll find it near the friendly giant around the corner, third house on the right. Thank, thank you. Um, that will be very helpful to have. Um, There's no like security deposit or anything, right? No. It furnished. Yes. Yeah, it probably will be. But okay, cool. I have to do groceries. Nah, just should be. Oh, well, that's fine. You can live with that. Just um, you know, when going there, try to keep an eye out if people see you. Given that it's supposed to be a bit of a place where you could lay low, it might not be smart to uh, publicly announce that you live there. So? It has the biggest rage. You mean I get, to give everyone, just... I get to give everyone disguises? I can also just tell, tell Brooks you hear in your head, I can just um, ru like float around at night and make scary noises and everyone will say, oh, that place is haunted, don't go there. Oh my god. Fucked. <laughs> Because it's been a while, correct me if I'm wrong. If I, like, think stuff, Dagon can hear it, right? Or do I have to no. actually play out? You, no, I cannot read your mind when I'm in your brain. Dagon, <laughs> if you haunt the place with us in it, none of us are going to be able to sleep. I have to haunt it outside, not inside. Oh, yeah. Carvel kind of Cav Cav love that. Chuckles. Three houses down. As she hears Brooks say that. <laughs> but uh, with all that said, um, that is all we have for you for now. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot on your plate, so do what you need to do. We'll be in touch when we have enough information for our plan to go ahead. Sounds good. Um, with this, is it like 
You said like, is it just like one key we have for the house, or has it got like six keys? We all got a key each. Uh, there's, there's like I think there's three keys. Okay. I'll walk and take a key. Dibs on a key. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't need a key as long as someone's happy to leave a window open because let's face it, I'm probably going to be the one staying out the latest. I mean, no. I can do it. I can just break in if I need to. It's fine. Uh, this... I, I, can, All right. I can get you more keys. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I can make some. Unless you've put some magical fucking locks on this place. Like, I can just get We're going to. Well, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, we got me just in stop, Just to stop you, who will do it. It's okay. Well, it is yours now. Well, technically it's Thank you very much. Richard Smith's now, but um, it's yours. It is as you treat your own home, I suppose. So he is kind of... Amazing. And I'll sort of turn to the... I sort of groom like, well, should we check out our new home, or...? Well, we probably should. I mean, got fucking three grand to spend on it. Very true. Right. Let's uh. Let's get a big statue yeah. of me killing fucking. I mean, we, we need to we need to assign bedrooms. We need to figure out where the there. where the bar is gonna be. And we need to figure out where the forge is. Yeah. Fucking the there. training fucking room. <laughs> um, do me one favor before you go. Um, there should be someone <laughs> waiting outside. Send him in. Okay. Oh. I could, yeah. Uh, I'll, I as we're walking walk out, out and see as we walk out, we'll see who who the fuck is there. Uh, as you like leave, you uh, you all kind of like walk towards the 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 entrance of the house again. You can see that there is this this man kind of like leaning down, like 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 kind of like you know sitting in a chair, but like elbows on his knees, just kind of like looking down at the floor with a hood up, and. He looks up at you and lowers his hood, and you recognize this individual oh. as a, a certain orange-skinned tiefling, uh, Valor. It's good to see you all. It's been a while. Indeed it has, old friend. I, uh, you know, since it's been a while since you all beat me out of that, uh, Shithole, I uh, decided that I've been, you know, I've been in hiding and sitting on my ass for long enough, and, you know, I found out a thing or two about uh, the reason why you were there and who instructed you and uh, offered my services, and, uh, well, I helped the council with any information they need on our mutual friends that we, uh, you know, that I may possess. Yeah, I think, uh, Probably got a rundown, right, about uh, a possible future infiltration coming up. Yes, we've, uh, we're well aware of the current situation. I gave him that information and uh, I'm finishing, I'm, I'm helping him scout and uh, given my previous attempt to do anything on the inside of a, of a, of a one of their bases. They don't want me to come with you when the time comes, but uh, I'll do my best to make sure that you have all the information you need to get in and out safely. Thank you. Appreciate so, that. Yeah, of course. Save my life. It's much. time for me to earn the favor. Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't get kidnapped again. Well, that's the whole point of me staying on the outside for now. Well, as much as it pains me, but it's a lot more boring, but... I'm so surprised it took you this long to stay out of it. Well, to come back in. Well, not by choice. Although, the <laughs> council does. Pretty well-paying job. <laughs> anyway. See you so they said I send you in. Yes, sounds good. So it's good to see you all. Um, I'm, I'm leaving again tonight, but uh, should be back in a few days if you happen to be around and I am to... That shop, I, um, they've given me a safe house uh, near the docks. That, uh, do you have a map of the city by chance? I think we have many. Uh, Nilo, could you show it? Check it out. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll hand it. Yeah, 
So he looks at the map and kind of like points at where, he, roughly with the area where he lives, and he's like, "Yeah, if you uh, you know, in a few days, if you uh, are bored one night, or you want to, you know, hang out, have some drinks, or whatever it is, you know, that's that's where I live. So you, know, if you want to come over and just relax or something? Because I don't really get up to much. And I'm supposed to uh, stay inside as much as possible because you never know who's a part of the, uh, uh, you know, you know the drill." Yeah, I know some people who think who've said the same sort of thing. And I sort of stare straight at Brooks. <laughs> yes, well, you've been stabbed in the back. So I haven't. Well, Brooks was stabbed in the back. And you. If you just have a bad me. habit of wandering hmm? off. And yeah. they've never touched me. Let's see what the problem is. Anyway. Right. <laughs> we had this conversation already. Don't push it. <laughs> right. Well, anyway. You guys, take care. It's good to see you. And, uh, good to see you, Val. Next time. Oh, yeah. Give Walks up to the council room, enters it. And so to the house. Yes. We've got a place to look upon. Dear God, I hope there's a wardrobe. If there Just isn't, it looks like this house. we're going to a furniture store. <laughs> yeah. York here. Uh, shall oh, we say that as you uh, sure make your way to uh, your, your, your new digs, <laughs> take a break here? Real quick. Yeah. Good. Sure. And then uh, we'll pick this up in, in five yeah, to ten. Touch got that tail spy MTV crew style uh, floor I, plan of the house. I do not. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. I do not. But uh, yeah, we'll be back in, uh, in five to ten minutes. Thanks for hanging with us so far. Uh, thanks for all the follows tonight, guys. You guys are fucking killing it. Appreciate that. Uh, and we'll, we'll be right back. We'll see Where you are we getting our 30 foot fish tank installed? <laughs>
Just and it looks like 3,000 oh, kilometers away. Well, that, it looks good. Yeah, hello, hello. 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 Hi, Dad. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ciao. Salve. Salve. Ciao, bella. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. Pepperoni. Okay. You Stick it to the one. Ruin it. <laughs> All right. Easy. Cool. Um, <laughs> get my Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, and just uh, get right back into the swing of things. Um, so you guys were just headed to, to the, to the new digs, right? The new house, check it yeah. out. Yeah. 
House tour. Cribs. As you uh, cribs. get to this house, it's, it's, you know, you go to the Finley Giants, you go around the corner, and third house on the right. Um, it looks, you know, like a normal house. This entire street is filled with just like these very standard two-story houses. What's up, full address now? I'm joking. <laughs> uh, well, funnily enough, yeah. in the medieval times, addresses were not a thing. So yeah. neither are they here. You just have to remember where you live. Streets weren't named, houses weren't numbered. It's just, I live there. True. We need to name our house. I'm um, making a whole new system now. <laughs> when I start name. numbering houses. <laughs> um, yeah, you, this house looks like any other house in the street. It's just, just like this like white brick uh, structure uh, with, with these like bluish roof tiles. Uh, two stories, and as you enter... Uh, it seems that you quickly, you know, go around the place. Uh, there's a living room, quite quite a spacious kitchen, a small backyard, um, like a like a dinner a dinner like section near the kitchen. Uh, upstairs, there's bedrooms, a bathroom, um, enough bedrooms for all of you. Uh, Yo, six private, bedrooms, private bedrooms, uh, and there's also a basement, which is mainly just for like storage and and, and whatnot. It ain't much, but it's a home. A cellar. Yeah. Is a it cellar. a big bath? You can mm. turn my bedroom into some other multi-purpose room if we want. <laughs> you no, know. I think it's important that regardless of how corporeal you might be, Diagon has own space. space. Yeah. yeah. Like, when you I have your own fair. robot body. You don't have yeah. pockets, so you're probably going to put some fucking... Actually, yeah, my room is more of a closet than a room, yeah. just because it's where all my exactly. stuff's going to go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it ain't much. Trophies. It's not like you're not living lavish thing, but it's, uh, it's a home. I mean, we're I'm about to be. <laughs> okay. A couple grand weighing us down. It's mm. a fixer upper. Gonna buy a like a big screen TV. <laughs> no, um, no leaks, no mold. Pimple it's table. Jordans, bro. This is a home. City value Probably home. better built than most modern builds nowadays. Definitely see that. Uh, the, the, there's furnishings there, but it's all quite quite basic, right? It's uh, it's not much. Um, you do see that in the basement there is a workbench uh, with some tools kind of like laid out on, on top of it. Uh, there's some large uh, like empty crates that you could use for storage down there in the cellar as well. Uh, in the kitchen there's this pretty pretty sizable pantry where you could uh, stock up supplies, cooking ingredients and all that stuff. Is, there a, is there a cold store? Um... No. I have a bag for that. A bag, a bag of colding. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just a very average story home in City of Aldilon. But it is a uh, place for you to... Is it? Hmm? Sorry, is it against building code to put a forge in the cellar of your house? I mean, if you have the correct ventilation, you could ventilate. If I just like if I just dug a little hole I'm, out, you know, made a little I'm gonna make everyone think our house is so haunted. Even inspector won't come near it. It's fine. I was gonna say, is that is that planning permission <laughs> and inspectors in this place? Because goddamn, <laughs> um, might throw some bribes out here. Just keep yeah. in mind that you were told to kind of keep it low key. That's all. Awesome. Haunted is low key. I should get like. Uh, more about like installing a forge could draw some attention. Well, if I just like hooked it into the main chimney of the house. Yeah, but know. middle middle of the night. Ting! Ting! <laughs> hey, I'm like an early can... morning guy. I'm less of a middle of the night guy. Yeah, we can we can I'm get the guy that starts up his leaf. Yeah, but early morning, yeah. old people is like five AM. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like come on. Exactly. We'll just get, get someone to like get up soundproof at 5 the room with the silence. Swims in well. the sea in October. A like, permanent silence in Real old people shit. You, uh, you have a home. Again, I get. I don't. I don't sleep at night. I have all night to spend time soundproofing, putting up some panels. You know, I can how, do stuff. How, how would you? How would you? I use my mage hand. I use my mage hand cantrip. Oh shit! Fair enough. I can I will cast mage hand to touch things. Make a little. So just... Make a little streamer room. Do we have? Uh, <laughs> do we have a like land around? Like how much? We have a backyard. Have a, have a backyard. How big is it? Uh, not. In Incredibly big. Uh, I don't really know about yeah, like, like sizing, like 20 by 20. but like, yeah, sure. Sick. It's just you know enough for Onu to kind of like run around in and just kind of vibe a little bit, you know. Mm. 
If he's is Onu still a dog right now? Onu is still gonna, a dog right now. We're okay. going to lose so many tennis balls over the fence to the neighbors. <laughs> I mean, first Fresh of all, boy. first oh. of all, we need to like how Fresh tall is the fence? Like, is it a privacy fence? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's completely. Like, we're supposed to be low. Neighbors here. can't just like look in unless they, you know, they, from their upstairs, like one of the windows, they might be able to like peek at the backyard a little bit. But then again, why so, are we supposed so we to be have low to like key? close off some windows? Because why it's supposed to be somewhere we can hide out if needed. Yeah, so if I just throw a big banner that said "ragtag fuckwits" across the yeah, probably not. <laughs> Yeah, That's bad idea. Play. I mean, this house is under someone else's, like, a fake name. Really, because, like, the, the reason they do that is, like, obviously, Elijah will know is because Paper Trail So is this a re is it a safe house or is it a residence? Because, it's, like, if uh, we're going to be coming and going, like... It's both. You can live here as long as you kind of, like, keep an eye out for, like, people watching you as you go to and from. But it's just, like, you, there's no Paper Trail that ties you to this place because Paper Trail means the Nightwebs will sooner or later find out. How big are the rooms? That's not fair. No. Every room has double like, beds. Every room has a double bed. There's like a desk, okay, a closet, that's good. and that's about it. That's good. That's great. So it's Shared good. bathrooms in the hallways. There's, There's one bathroom. bathroom upstairs. Yes. God. One bathroom between six rooms. We're all gonna be jamming rough. on the door when Jax is in there. Eat your prunes, for fuck's sake, old man. I have a diaper. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, what's that in the artwork? <laughs> Clean, cleaning juice is gonna suit. suck, bro. Like, ah, press the digitation. All good. It's on Jax. <laughs> you have to go in there, magic away everyone else's shit stains. I am going to I'm start. I'm just the cleaning unloading. lady. I'm gonna go start unloading alcohol into one, like one of the cupboards I've just claimed as like an alcohol cupboard. Okay. Uh, Second, that massive like. Join. I'll, I'll put. A, I'll write a list somewhere of what I'm leaving at the house. I would like. Are there any display cases or anything, or is it unfurnished for the most part? No, it's furnished. Uh, we'll say that if you want, there's a couple of. Small if it's a house, like I doubt there'll be display <laughs> cases. Yeah, there's so, probably like a yeah, china cabinet. There, it's there basic be. furnished. There, there can be. Not too. Fucking Basically, I just want to put my my dragon fucking crossbows. Mm -hmm. And my bandolier full of steaks and holy water, just in a case, sure. locked like some Skyrim shit. That's like the most impossible things to get into. Yeah. On display. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, I think that's all. I think we'll probably do a between sessions, uh, give you just a list touch of like, hey, this is the stuff we want in our room, smiley face, yeah, and sure. just Wait, tell us how much it costs. Is, is unattuning from something uh, an it, effort it, at all? No. Unattunement is at will. Yeah. Okay. It's just the attunement part that takes forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. If everybody's kind of getting settled in, I, I do have a few errands I need to run. Yeah, me too. Dude, I forgot I had the pipes of haunting, bro. Give me those! That's... I'll add to my, my whole gonna man. haunt this house. Are we... No. Are, we go... Are we just gonna do some quick furniture shopping then and be back in a bit? Okay. Sure. Uh, I, mean, don't we... I mean, Jax, we're gonna need to charter passage on a boat. Yeah, we yeah, wanna... we yeah, only, I, we I, only I have. plan on getting that. Yeah. Well, uh, when would you guys like to sit out? Whatever. Really. Tomorrow. Uh, one more day in the city and then head out tomorrow Henry? morning. Yes. All right. And I will head on out. Okay. What are you um, doing? Um, I got a lot of shit to sell. Mm -hmm. So probably go to the, uh, it, it's not the Arcane Emporium. It's the, it's the pocket dimension thingy. Blob. It's just the pocket portal? Pocket portal, no. I thought it was the pocket dimension. I thought it was called the pocket dimension. Is it the pocket dimension? Yeah. That's what I thought. I didn't think that was the name. I thought that was just like... Pretty sure that's is it. The, is pocket portal the fucking one with the, with the triplets? Pocket portal is the item, I thought. Pocket portal is the throw and get. I will... I don't know, dude. I always just think Arcane Emporium because the last campaign, man. Arcane Emporium. 
Oh, the Pocket Dimension is the one in this city, yeah. yeah. Pocket Dimension. Oh, yeah. okay, so I was right. So, Shit. Yeah. I'm crazy. Yo, you're um, fucking... <clears throat> it's the Dementia. Do you, uh, do you have the map up the at the moment, dementia. Dutch? Huh? You have the map up at the moment? No. Oh, bastard. Okay. Whoa. That I... Um, DM me a list of things that you're going around selling, and for the sake of, like, expediency... Over the other... Yeah. Yeah. I would do uh, the same of sending you a list of things I'd like to buy. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I want to go charter a boat at the docks. Yeah, we'll uh, DM me that list first, and then we'll... Okay. Let me find all that. Okay, so there's... Do... Administrative work here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, don't we just love a down shopping episode? <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new bow. What you thinking? I'm gonna try and convince Alasrin that he should do the food shop. Uh, you want you want um, the posh boy? Yeah, if to people go wanna out. go buy some shit yeah. like magic items and stuff, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. So Davy wants to go out and find a new bow. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> see. Uh. What the fuck else would I want? I don't think I have anything I want to sell. Oh, actually, yeah. I'd probably sell the Ring of Evasion. Oh my God, I forgot I had those. On the fence about the braces of archery because they require attunement. I'll keep it for the time being. Um, if it's an item from Strahd's Crypts, do you want me to look up the items? Why the fuck do I have the skull of Vokter in my fucking inventory? Because you picked it up at some point. I you, uh, let's like, from that chest dead. where yeah. uh, you found this chest that just had like a human skeleton a human skeleton stashed in it and you picked up the skull for some odd reason because at some point you were going to be like oh, maybe we'll be able to talk to it or speak with the dead and I guess you got you just forgot about it so you still have that in your yeah, I'm just Okay, I'm going to toss that out of my inventory then. He's <laughs> walking down the street. I'm going to put it in the display case next to Tavian's <laughs> no. crossbows. <laughs> It's Valid. the fucking, it's the fucking like, be discreet. Jack's walking down the street, throws a skull. Only <laughs> <laughs> this piece of shit. Nah. It's a prop. It's like when you empty your, out your fucking inventory in Baldur's Gate and you're just tossing <laughs> shit out of your inventory. <laughs> uh, we're just listing down what the shit we want to Shit you want to sell. sell. Well, I ain't got nothing to sell. Other yeah. than my booty that hole. That sucks, dude. Loot more. I mean, show and Sorry, I was busy dealing with trauma. Uh, as far as bows like? are concerned, uh, Davian, mm -hmm. uh, is there yeah. anything in particular you're looking for, or just a longbow know. specifically? But plus one or better, I guess. Something nice, something, uh, something that preferably, preferably does not require attunement. But I'm open. You know, I'm open to the idea of attunement. I have a little bruise for you. Um, Bongbo, you said, yes? Yeah. I need that fucking 600 foot range, whatever it is. Yeah, that should be easy. Mm -hmm. We've got, we got a small couple of things, it's all good. And then probably uh, big factory, I guess. New bed, cover something uh. in the bottom, dwells and pigs riding. More altar. Like, you're buying all of this? Yeah, that's to buy. That's to... <laughs> oh my word. We'll say that this, all of this, will come to will come down to like a total of 500 gold. 500 gold? Mm. Okay. Thank you. Basically, the 50 platinum that I just got, I have spent. <laughs> yeah. But, to be fair, 300 of that was just on diamond dust. 
Yeah, we, we kind of need more of those. I've got no, diamonds, uh, but it's the dust it's don't fucking out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, fucking a lot of spells are like, you eat diamond dust, I'm like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, or yeah, ruby great, dust great, or whatever the only fuck. Only one I know off the top of my head, greater restoration, and yeah. it requires um, it. There's a couple of bows here that, like, what's your budget for this? Uh, 900 gold. Okay. 20k. Uh, there is the Acid Maw Longbow, which, okay. uh... You, you, you get told that basically you speak a command word that causes acid to drip down from the bowstring. Uh, the acid is harmless to anyone touching the bow, and while the bow is dripping, it coats any arrow fired uh, in acid. Okay. Uh, dealing some extra acid damage uh, to any target it hits, and the acid will last until you use the command word again, or when you drop or sheath your bow. Okay. There's that. That's going to cost you yep. 600 gold. Okay. Uh, that bow is a bit out of your price range. Um, I'm just quickly like... Look. Yeah, yeah. There's the Ashwood Longbow. It's a bow okay. made of burnt wood that feels warm to the touch and glows with a dim light from flickering embers that constantly fro flow from the end of the bow. It's on brand. Oh, true. When an arrow is knocked on the bow, the embers swirl, ember swirl around it with its special properties. Arrows fired from this bow deal an extra 2 for fire damage. Uh, and when they hit a target, um, the arrows burst into ash and leave a black smudge of ash on the target where the arrow hit. That makes my arrows unrecoverable. True. But they do do an extra 2d4 fire damage. How much was the acid damage? 2d6. Fucking hell, no, give me that. Give me the fucking <laughs> acid more longbow. How much was it? 600? Yes. But like, cool guys get it for 500. Make a persuasion check. <clears throat> Mine's in his dice ready. Dude, I. you know what? Yeah, I, I can't believe I haven't rolled yet. Uh, da, 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 America's ass. <laughs> oh, it's a a a. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, five hundred gold yeah. sounds good. Go on then. Go on then. Fifty plat. Makes you also also spend all the money you just got. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, and this boat does not require attunement, by the way. Oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so I added it to your inventory, so you might have to refresh your... Uh... Beautiful. Thank you very much. Please. That will do. A legendary DM. Um, let's see. Soko, sell... Yeah, it's a lot, dude. I'm sorry. Make a, make a persuasion check. 2d6 acid is crazy. That's fucking mental, actually. It's not bad. What's the damage to normally? Is it a D8? Plus two, one uh, D8. 17. So it's going to do 1D8 plus 3 plus 2D8. All of that. Plus, it'd, like, it'd be real good. It'll net you. Hunter's mark. About 3,500 gold. 350 platinum. Holy. What the fuck did this fuck? man. Did he just sell our house? No, he <laughs> sold, like, he has, like, all the fucking, like, jewelry and shit from. Yeah, because he's the one who. Everything we find just goes in mm. bag of holding, right? So. Yeah, bag of holding. Um, I think, a, I mean, a cool guy could get, like, 3,500, right? You just rolled a persuasion roll, and I gave you the amounts based on. Uh, yeah, I know. I had to help. Um, you said thirty five hundred. That. Three fifty plat. Fucking hell. Uh, can I spend? Uh, what is it? Three hundred gold for a diamond. Yeah. Yep. This one. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Just I just need more to top up. Okay. Um, at some point, Brooks, um, yeah, we'll get sent a message, you hear like a, a voice in your head. Oh, fuck.
think someone's about to die. <laughs> Sound it like. <laughs> Another hand touches the beacon. <laughs> um. Oi, Brooks, it's Rob from the Giant. Um. Sorry to reach out this way, but there's some mail here for some of your friends. That's it. Mm -hmm. Huh? I did not know that this was something you could do, you sneaky bastard. All right, we'll be over at some point. Get a message back <laughs> like a few minutes later. Sneep. Party trick in the bedroom. See what my hand can do. <laughs> I don't know if you're bragging or flirting with me. No response. We'll come around in a bit. No response. Alright, uh, anything else? Anyone else want to do some shopping? Or is that is that it? Quickly went through that. Uh, uh, I'm, I've got a long list that I'm writing you. Okay. Mm. Like, I'm putting Wonder. thought into it, so it might not be until the end of... That's fine. Um, what I will do as well, eh, like, I guess I'll do general... I shouldn't go like plates and cups and that shit. In whatever that place is, I will put a golden goblet in the, uh... Like, just in the, uh... The, the cupboard. And be like, well, that's my, that's my cup. That's my drinking cup. Okay, sure. <laughs> We're all just putting something in there now. Well, I mean, it's my drinking cup that I definitely didn't steal from Shroud. So, you know. <laughs> um, I've, I've just stole donated, like donated to our alcohol cupboard. Um, oh, hell. There's a bottle of rum. There's a cask of ale. There's a half-drank bottle of very expensive white wine. Oh. There's three bottles of the honey orange mead that Brooks made. Yum. There's four bottles of the orange and mango fruit wine. And there's a bottle of Petralia's wine, which I can't remember where I got it from. Good question. <laughs> but we have it. Yeah, who the fuck is Petralia? Nah. It could have been from that like other brewer guy we met like way long ago. We've been to a lot of places and served a lot of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, this is gonna look like a student home after like maybe for future reference two days. Get items <laughs> that you might not remember where you got them from at some point. Maybe write down where you got them from. Smart. I'm sorry, I trusted the DM. Whoa. That's your first mistake. That's not his job to try. I, to I've, to all I remember is that it's fucking it's expensive wine. So there's some nice wines in there and some shit and Okay. I would just like to go to the docks mm -hmm. to charter a boat. Yeah, uh, as you get to the docks, I mean, there's a fuckload of ships there, but you do see some, like, charter boats, uh, like some smaller-sized boats that have actively have people, like, like standing there, kind of like, you know, very in the same vein of, like, this lineup of, like, taxis at an airport. That's kind of the idea. Yeah. There's a bunch of, like, charter ships, and there's, like, the captains of each ship are like, oh, kind of... Using my uh, seafaring eye, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to pick a captain who looks more trustworthy than the other ones. Make an insight check with advantage. Yeah. Two net ones, because he's blind. No, but I did roll a two on one of them. Uh, 18. Um, there's this one ship that kind of draws your eye. And the captain is this kind of like somewhat brutish Goliath uh, wearing like a bandana on his on his head uh, and this like leather coat and uh, he, he looks at you so you've got a good eye for ships there mate I would hope so after spending a lifetime on one myself That's so uh, well maybe multiple but you are in the need of a uh... A ferry somewhere then uh, yes uh, me and uh four others would like a uh, ship to port danilo would you want a normal 
trip or would you like the express food? Express, please. I'll get you, you got money. at Port Danilo in about a six hour trek. When would you like to leave? Uh, tomorrow morning, if that would be possible. Oh, I'll make that work. Uh, I do require a deposit paid up front just to make sure, you know, that I, I get at least something because that means that I make sure everything's ready, stock up and all that shit, pay my crew for the trip tomorrow. Before the express, uh, the deposit is 100 gold, and you are to pay another 200 upon arrival. It sounds good, and I'll hand him 100 gold. Right. Meet here tomorrow at 9 o'clock, shall we say? It sounds great. Uh, thank you so much. Maurice. One more thing, what's your name? Uh, Jax. Jax. Right. Call me Baldy. Very nice to meet you, Baldy. It's me. Baldy? Baldy. Not ba oh, like like Baldy, like head, like bald head Baldy. Yes. Okay. Like Baldy's basics. <laughs> like the eagle. Go -go. Does this ship have a gate on it? Um. Yeah. You uh. Oh. Chartered a ship, and you are set to leave tomorrow morning. Sweet. Um. Uh. There the that. I actually just want to take care of that later this week anyway, so never mind. Good. Mm -hmm. I'll head back to the house, I guess. So is everybody kind of like collecting back at the house after they've gone out and doing their shopping and whatnot? Yeah. yeah I would have yeah, just yeah. been chilling. I just would have had someone leave the meerkat at the house, and I've been attuning to the necklace since I can't wear mine. I'm going to replace the drift globe. In my enchantments to use it. I will tuck. What? The... I'm sorry, Elazarin. I Everything oh, else I need. Uh... Forever gone. Oh. Um, I'll tuck <laughs> the Mika into the bed in Dagon's room. Cool. Okay. Uh, just just charge us a boat to leave at nine tomorrow. Oh. Night? Oh, oh, fuck. You mean we've got to get up early? Oh. Well, I could have done 6 a.m. No, no, nine's good. That's a line for you. <laughs> what do we do until tomorrow? I guess we fuck around and sort the house oh, out. And... You... Well, I've got some tinkering to do. Can I help? It's sure. I can I can help. I have the mage hands. I can actually help. I can do things. Uh, you hear a bunch of swearing from Elazarin's room as he's trying to assemble like a new bed. <laughs> uh, <fuck. laughs> it's what part did you mean it's, slot A into slot it's, C? It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> missing the Allen <LMP>. key. <laughs> Shit! Uh, bear in mind, folks, you did get told that there's mail waiting for some of your friends at yeah, I'll I'll wait until everyone's done shit in their rooms, I hope and then I'll let them know. Waiting for us. I am. <laughs> there's only six. There's only Cheating six beds on at this place, right? Did you say uh, Ethan? There's only six beds. Boys night. Nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know we asked earlier, but like, for the sake of my brain, like how how big are the rooms? They're not very big, are they? No. There. Nah. Bed, desk, and bed, desk. Whatever. Think Closets. like that's about it. Yeah. Let's think like, like like a dorm room at university. Hmm. But with a bigger like, bed. Now like dorm room size? Sure, man. They're not very big because we there's six bedrooms in a two story house that would normally be like for four people. Okay, fair. It's just because it affects what I'm gonna get. Good. Yeah. Man's got to pull out some interior designer website like so. <laughs> <laughs> really not that deep, right? This is my carpet. How dare you gatekeep our uh, house designer roleplay? This is why I don't like playing Baldur's Gate with you. <laughs> if, <laughs> this is the reason so, why you do take so long. It's not because I loot every single me. barrel. Tune in tomorrow to see it slow. <laughs> God. Um, anyway. 
Is there anything right. specific you're tinkering on, Jax? Um, a new infusion, actually. Okay. Just... Oh, am I about am I about to lose the one I've got? Yes. No, because I can have six total now, two of which are on my armor. Okay. And I have four attunement slots now, so it's a new attuned item. All right. Um, oh, might do cheating. Artificer fire. Um, yeah. I have a couple of suggestions. Firstly, uh, if we're not going to be here, obviously, like, it seems fucking stupid to have my brother paying to rent somewhere. Oh, yeah, he can watch the house. It, like, it's not just my space, so I don't want to just say fuck it. Like, you know, let him crash. I'm I'm okay with that. To that oh, point, like... No, I was definitely going to invite Celestia to stay, because I'm pretty sure she's still paying to stay at the fucking mug. And there we go. And I, I don't have a key, so someone will have to give Eoran their key. And he can use my room, since then y you also still have, you know, beds and no one slept in but you if you really care. Because well, well, I'm not going to sleep in mine. Down at the workshop. Oh, I mean... <laughs> Obviously, like, I'm sure Davian wouldn't mind if Celeste sleeps in his, but then none of you guys have to have yours. Also, there's one for Kess, and she's not here, so... Also, also, Kess that. has a vessel, but... That too. Kess would probably sleep also, in her vessel But it feels anyway. weird being like, no, 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 you don't get a room because you can sleep in your vessel. Like, <laughs> no, she has a room, room, but she's but... not using it, clearly, for a while, so... And she, yeah, like, I mean, pretty, as long as we traveled together, I... Well, I apparently I found gonna... out later she was sleeping in her vessel, so... I was matter. just gonna let Ren sleep in my room. Like, we'll figure shit out when we come back and if there is a shortage of beds, but... But now, there is an empty bed, so... Yeah. yeah, they're all going to be empty because we're not going to be here. Right, but there's a bed that will never be used that Dargan just offered. Yeah, like, I meant if anyone cares, like, if they're a germaphobe and you're worried about someone else's, like, body on sheets and you want clean sheets when you get back, you know, because some people are like that. Oh, I bought, I... I bought a bunch of spares. <laughs> Don't worry. I bought, <laughs> a, lo I bought <laughs> a lot of shit today. I bought a bunch of, like, really, like, nice bedding. <laughs> What sort of bedding did you buy, Lazarin? Like, I've got some Egyptian cotton, I've got some linen, I've got Egyptian, some, like, yeah. real... Where's Egypt? Real... What's Egypt? Yeah. You know what I mean. Like, the... It, the whatever... Some... The... Some, <laughs> the, some expanse cotton. Brooks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brooks so quite like literally... Three kingdoms, like... like... Having a fucking four-poster bed put up in his room and... <laughs> Like, I'm not joking. My, mine's still a shitty, like, Ikea-type bed, right? <laughs> but it's Silk, like... <laughs> no, no. Silk sheet. Four-poster bed. Silk sheets. Fur blankets. Yeah. And then he's also brought his own armchair for downstairs. Uh, and then brought, like, f fleece throws to put on the rest of the furniture in the living room. Oh, God. We... We... Spoil in this place. Oh, by the way, uh... Jax, I need your help with a thing later. And also, uh, some of you fucks have got letters waiting for you at the giant. Oh. But we yeah. might as well all go, because I don't know who's got letters and who hasn't, and we need to grab my brother. Very true. Well, Are we well, going to have uh, to fucking pry him out from underneath a pile of prostitutes, or...? You sent him there, man. I sent him there because the, I trust the people there. Because they've all given you handjobs. I think all of them have. Why else would I trust you, Davian? Exactly. <laughs> no greater bond. Sometimes when you're alone yeah. camping in there in the jungle and one thing leads to another, nerves, nerves are getting to you, and you look no, up and I just fucking, his eyes. <laughs> he's never really been the type, but who fucking knows? Hey man, he's had a pretty stressful journey and now he can use his body like never before. I imagine he's fucking running circles around him. I really don't want to think about it. <laughs> Regardless, well, yeah. Let's mail? go fucking pick him up. Well, yeah, we gotta get mail. Mail. I'm excited. I hope it's money. We just got a letter. Okay. <laughs> it's for love depression. <laughs> Would it not be low-key to have our mail put at our house? No, because that no, we gotta be keep the to we... us. Because no, then also, the mailman knows where we live, and that and yeah, also houses one. don't have numbers. 
Uh, dude, I think that's fucking nonsense, if you ask me. Well, the yeah, DM said it, therefore it's true. Streets definitely have names. I mean, houses might not have numbers, but come on. Dude, I we fuck need... no, I dude, I'd look this shit up. They the only names they get are like names of utility. Like there might be like yeah. you know some of like Baker's Way because eventually everyone's like oh there's a really good bakery there and like or like pub like pub alley because the only people, way a lot of them people on that would street. know like they're not Jackal names Lane. they're just people would know so we live where on prostitute drive in their cities because they live there <laughs> so they know but like for people that are foreign to a certain city back then the only way they could get around was like a guide because they would not know and there's no registry of like oh that's that street that's that street. Oh, yeah. They would have to fuck around and find out. Like there were no ads. We have a map. We, Literally, it's like what we got. We should probably <laughs> name the, the house, and then that way we can have things delivered easier. But I wouldn't get things with our names on delivered. Should we be well, getting things delivered if we're laying low? Should we not just go pick the things up ourselves? I mean, I mean, I'd sort of. I probably have some like letters from family that I. It's I'm sure a Lazarin's like furniture, say. like, you have to water it and it takes a while. And no. We can just keep having our letters, I say our, you can keep having thing, your letters you? sent to the pub. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not planning on changing that. I'm sure you have been doing that, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so we yeah. can just keep doing that. Yeah. Right. Right to the pub. So as you go to the Friendly Giant, which is literally around the corner for you. Um, yeah, okay. three doors oh, down. Okay. Three doors inside, there. and you can see all the usual suspects are there. Um, we've got uh, fucking Cav behind the bar. We've got Rob. We've got like all the, like, like I said, everyone is there. Uh, you also see Brooks's brother, Goran, uh, and another familiar face, just having a drink, sitting down. Uh, you see Siren. Yo! Yo! Callback. Snake Bay? Yeah. Rot Alexa Raggy. <laughs> Rot Raggy. Raggy pushes a Lazarin forward. <laughs> <laughs> that ended on really good terms as to my saw. Huh? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm hiding in Brooks again for this because mm -hmm. crowded and pub. And if I'm looking at Brooks in your, in your head, you're just going to hear, it's a Lazarin's girlfriend! <laughs> in your oh. head. Not even the girlfriend, just the Nobody knows why, but they walk in. Brooks looks at Siren, looks at Lazarin, hears this in his head, and just starts laughing. <laughs> like Siren just kind of like raises her cup as she sees you. Um, the rest of the the crew in there is all just, hey, up. Uh, your brother is like at a table, and you kind of like hear a tail end of a conversation of like. So you're so you're the older brother, and like you know that's the line of conversation, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's it's pleasure on his on his one side, and and Rob on the other side, and as they oh hell yeah, so, and he, he seems he seems you know chilling, he's he's chilling, he's just having a conversation, having a drink. I want him to flirt with all of Brooks's favorite prostitutes and be like their favorite. He's not really already. that guy. I don't <laughs> care. He he will be now. <laughs> Canon, I can write. I can write my fan fiction. You don't know You're me. You're not that guy, so, pal. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm just writing fan fiction. I'll be honest. Kind of like waves at you. Yorin's idea of a date is like Yorin reading also books together. Waves. Um, Cam smart books. Though. Will like nod at you all. Oh, it's been a while since I last seen you guys. Uh, drink. Uh. Drink uh, and letters. Just... Right here, yeah, there's some some oh. post. If for some of you, uh, hold on. And he goes to like dig through a drawer and go on for Jax. Cool. Going once, okay. going twice. Uh, there you go. It. And uh, one for uh, ah, Lazarin, my favorite pretentious prick in the entire city. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's a joke. He's full of them, so to be the favorite is, you know, and... that's, that is something. <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Uh, these are, these these haven't been here for too long, like a couple of days maybe. Oh, okay. That's right then. And I will uh, do my classic. I'll just go somewhere where there's no one else about for a sec and just read the letter myself. I'll, I'll uh, stick my letter I'll in my bag for now. Oh, thank you, gamer. Brooks, you just hear it in your head. You then hear, oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just the. Siren doesn't know. I can't say hi. It doesn't know. What I mean, oh. oh, what the hell? We can tell her if you want. That's so fucking very weird lit. conversation to have. 
But you I'm can gonna try. Go, I'm gonna go tell her. Okay. Because I'd like to tell her I say hi. While everyone else is doing uh, letters, I will, as gently as Brooks can, try and explain the concept of Dagon died but isn't dead, but now sort of is a little ghosty and is Siren comfortable <laughs> dealing uh, you got, You're approaching Siren? Yeah. Well, the first thing she does, like, she gets up and like, goes in for a hug and it's kind of like, hey. learned this is more custom among your people, and I figured I'd give it a try. I will... Brooks will give Siren a hug. And it's, then have to be it's like... It's been a while. It's, it's good to see you all. For context, not everyone's a hugger, so... But so don't be offended okay. if someone doesn't. All People right. are weird. I, um, uh, yeah, it's my been a hell of a long time. And my duties kept me busy for the most part, but I got sent back here to um, finish up some details among the. Um, given that I'm kind of the representative of my people to Elbilom, I uh, I'm here for a few weeks. To take care of some business. I figured. This was a place we spent some time last I was here, so I figured I'd just kind of sit here and yeah, one day you'd show up and But <laughs> Yeah, about that. Um I'm going to tell you something. It's going to sound A very weird and B terrifying. Okay. I promise you it isn't. Not the way it prefaces. But like I don't know, maybe if someone had a, a good way of saying this, they could tell me and I could spout it off. Yeah. Just say what you have to say. I got nothing. Uh, so... Dragon's here, but it's complicated. Where is she then? I don't see her. Uh, I, I, the, the very blunt and simple version is that uh Dragon can sort of choose whether or not to be visible because she's a little astral something happened to my body uh, you just something say what you have to, to say she's a ghost now she's a ghost Huh? It's more complicated than that, but... I'm gonna use my new level 9 feature, so now Brooks, uh, I think you can make a save if you want to, but otherwise your mouth starts moving of your not of your volition and I will make you say um her body's her, bo her body's been separated from her soul she is still alive just not corporeal she would like to say hi. Does this come out with my voice? Yes. Yeah. Like it sounds like, like for all she knows, you're if saying I, it, but you Dragon, have no intention to say that because my. If Dragon pre warns me, then I'll let it happen. Sure, I'll, I'll say, oh, I can tell her if you let me, and then you just let your, I guess, mental guard down, and even though you're not forming the words in your mind, your mouth moves and says that because I can make my host say a phrase of twenty five words or less. That's most things that Brooke like, says. I've. Like his heard brain doesn't form it. Stories like this before, but it's the first time I see one for myself. Is she in there? She's. We're we're sharing at the moment, but she <laughs> didn't want to just pop out and say hello because she was a bit worried that she'd That's scare you. Fine. And... I'm I'm glad that she's, well, whatever it is that caused this. Sorry that happened, but I'm glad that she's not fully gone. Work uh, we're we're working on a backup lady. plan. <laughs> you heard the lady. Get your ass out here. There's more than just her here, weirdo. Is there any, like, patrons in other than... Yeah, a handful. Yeah. We're not in Barovia anymore. I can't just be a ghost. Good. I mean, to be honest, she'd probably get away with it here. They're all well, let me DM you your letter as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's just a letter L. I'll wait on reading. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I sent one to fucking Laszlo. No, you're good because I'm waiting to read it anyway. I like so the fine. idea that uh, Lazarin just got a letter of like intent to sue. 
Yeah. No, He's got a cease and desist. From Siren. I'm just that. I'm fucking restraining order. It's a restraining order. Son of a bitch. So, yeah, your meal gets given out to you. You all kind of like gathering at a table, or like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I will. A little nice, like, corner booth. We're like just hanging around at the bar, right? We're just having one drink and then. Yeah, having read the uh, my letter, I also just throw it up, pocket it away, and just <laughs> and I like, just turn to the group as if nothing has happened. Siren will like look at you and uh, hope you well, Lazarin. I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're doing well, Siren. How is uh, how is everything? Busy, very busy. Welcome to life diplomacy. Brooks just stop. hears in his head, make out, make out, make out. <laughs> well, it's, uh, what are you drinking? Less, I'll get you another one. Not less Dude, exciting. Snake tongue hits different. I bet. I hoped it would be. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll see what Siren's drinking, and I'll buy I'll, her. I, I, are I'll those two wine. still at the bar? Wine. Oh, what color? Red. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll get very... her a nice. I'll get saying, her a, uh, a nice uh, red uh, wine. Ethan. Uh, are those two still at the bar? They are right. Well, she was sitting at a table, and you walked over there, so oh. I'm assuming everybody kind of made it over to that table. Then, yeah, we'll just... Yeah. I will sit. I'm going to wait for Lazarin to sit down next to Siren. I'm not sitting down next to her. I'll sit down opposite. Oh, oh you're a dick. Pussy. You're a pussy. Stop okay, forcing I'm, this. I'm going to go sit over by her, and then... If I well, notice he won't, like, sit next to her, also, Brooke just hears, if I could possess him right now, I would so make him sit there. Uh, as you go to sit off. next to Yorin, um, Pleasure kind of like greets you and uh, You never told us you had a more handsome brother, Brooks. <laughs> I don't. That's rude. Right. Yorin kind of looks, looks at you and is like, mm. <laughs> Got a brother, I... sure, but he's okay. Alright, well, um, can I get you anything? You should probably uh, get up if you've been sitting here for too long anyway. We've got other customers to take care of, so, and she kind of like, looks looks at Rob and is kind of like, fuck off. Rob just goes, it's better so. He gets up and but it's just you and Goran at the table. I mean... And fighting. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's insisting on giving us priv privacy like we've got shit to talk about, but... I'm not. I may have, I may have trauma on something. A little. Yes. I mean, I Nothing hope you tip well, at least, if you're going to do that. Yes, I, I paid for a room for a few days in advance, and... Uh, some drinks. That was... <laughs> that was stupid, but... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you're... People you're... are nice. They... What it's worth, they have a lot of good things to say about you, which is on change of pace, but... Normally when I hear about you from others, it's either because you robbed them, beat them, or you owe them money. Not true. Sometimes you just slept with them. Again, in your head. I'm just Brooks's inner monologue for all intents and purposes <laughs> right now. Just so you're aware, I'm sharing with Daigon at the moment. Right. So, Hello, Daigon. Uh, she would like to add that sometimes I've just slept with them. Yeah, that adds up. I mean, on the one hand, it's nice that you're excited to have positive feedback about me, but on the other hand, it is not the maybe the best place to get information on someone. Well, it wasn't really. Could be worse. Point you could be talking to Cass about just it. Happened to... You can shut happened the fuck up. <laughs> not you. Her. Figured. Uh, anyway, so, uh, turns out we've got digs. Uh, I mean, you can stay here for a night if you want. Like, it might do you some good to have some time on your own. Yeah, but, uh, looks we're... at you and, um, yeah, I'll probably stay here tonight. I didn't mind the company. You Don't sly bastard. Look at me like that. <laughs> the first time I'm gonna I tell can... that. 
first time I can walk around by myself without needing help going to the bathroom. As long as I can remember. So it's been nice. Be able to not well, have to rely on my family. Or... Don't get too drunk. Because you're house sitting for us. Okay. Then where? How? From tomorrow until either we get back or you decide you want to leave. Three or four days, probably. Okay. Yeah, just that's fine. Um, I mean, we're probably, you're probably not going to be on your own. House sitting because... as in don't leave the place or can I? No, no. House sitting as in you don't have to pay to rent a room. But also, like, it's Make not... sure no one trashes it. It's but... not just my place, so other people might invite other people to stay, but also, if dad's fucking on his way, then... But I don't know how he's getting here and how long that'll take. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're I... such an articulate man, Brooks. Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, where is it? Just around a corner. I... <laughs> they just, like, open I'll, the door. We'll, we'll come get you in the morning and show you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, that's fine. Don't go too mad. Don't drink too much. I won't. So yeah, meanwhile, Syrian is kind of like talking to, to, to whoever cares about like, oh yeah, all the stuff that she had to do, being kind of like the, the representative for her people to Eldilon and making these arrangements between her home and, and the city. <clears throat> and all she... For those that really pay attention to what she's saying is that like she's... Ha you can get a sense of like she's happy that what she's doing matters and helps her people, but she also seems incredibly bored at the same time. <laughs> Checks out. Even like, in the middle of that like conversation of that happening, like and as we're also we'll be showing interest because it's shit with fucking diplomacy and the mm -hmm. likes, and we'll like also ask about you know the sort of like the mining situation over there that he has a stake in and all that shit. He's just going over like what's Go ahead on that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she'll tell you that um, they did receive some like someone uh, to come check it out. Um, uh, that they didn't name drop your family mm. name and, and yep. had the right paperwork. They like kind of like excavated, oh, excavated. They like like inspected the place uh, and, and wrote up a report and left again. That's all right for them. Sorry, they're slow on doing things properly. It's it's okay. What's going it's, on? Uh, just... Where is that mine located? Or going to be located? You found that, like, in or around her, like, like home. Yeah. Actually, let's Seth... cross-reference the maps real quick, then. Seth Carl? I can never remember which one it fucking is, because they all sound the fucking same. Well, no, there's two that sound the same. Well, like, while they're similar. looking at maps... Uh, I think it's Brooks, Sefka. with the help of Daigo, yeah. is giving Eorin the full rundown on uh, Syrian and Elasrin. Yep. yep. And also oh, yeah. Davian oh, and yeah. Celeste, because Celeste might be staying. Yep. And then while you're, we're giving the full rundown on Syrian and Elasrin, mm -hmm. you just hear one of those, I forget, uh, I forgot that you can hear me, like, in my own thoughts, thinking to myself. And I was like, wonder, wonder if Elasrin and her ever made up with tongue, because she has, like, a snake tongue. I wonder what that's like. And then I and I'm like, oh, my bad. Remembering you can hear me. We never did anything, actually, you freaks. <laughs> uh, and whose fault is that? Question. It's like Kobe's least favorite thing of the whole campaign. <laughs> yeah. It's your your guys' because you kept on pushing it. I, you kept on pushing, <laughs> so I denied it from you. <laughs> There's no way for me to like shit. Like I can't I know that I can't think and no, never mind. There's no way for me to like share memories with Dagon, is there? Mm -mm. It's become a wizard. I'll, I'll just like, like Brooks under his breath is just like I will tell you what it's like when we're at home. Hey. All right. So anything, anything else you guys wish to do while you're there, or um, picked up your mail for those that had it? Nope. Loki, I wish you'd chartered the ship for this fucking evening, to be honest, but if we could have... <laughs> that might have been a just get, notice, though. Just get the shit out of the way. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, let's me delay telling you guys everything, too, so... Yeah. 
Because oh, we, we get to get the exposition on the boat. Because we have nothing we'd else get to the, do. Yeah, we'd get the exposition on the, on the boat anyway. This isn't for Jax's sake. This is for Soko's sake. Soko is stalling. <laughs> yeah, but also... Like... I would never stall. I have no clue what you mean. Bro, I want to rest up before we fucking go on a boat. I do want to get some tinkering done. I rest on the boat. Sleepy. In the if I'm sleepy. No, I'm sleepy. I got a bunch of exhaustion. I'm EP. I'm just a little EP guy. I'm so EP. <laughs> it's a lot in one day for one guy, okay? I'm a little EP. Ah, I hate everything. <laughs> um, okay. So you, um... Go back and sleep for those that sleep. Okay. Let's go and sleep. Is it even that late? Well, not, or not hang out for a bit and then sleep. Point. Yeah, basically, we'll just hang out for the evening, I think. And just... Well, I'm going to go to the weeping mug. Okay. We need to get gonna... to Celestia and show her our house. Right. Yeah, that's the plan. It's the bed. <laughs> but if she's not there, because, you know, she's probably, she could be busy, uh, just let her, like, tell, tell the, you know, whoever's fucking working, like, oh, let Celestia know. Well, we don't have an address. Great. Um... Third house down on the right from the front. So the stupid! Table. It's so stupid! Yeah, whatever, like yeah. I, whatever, whatever directions I can give. Just like, you know what I mean. I've got good charisma now. I'm sure it was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, what are we doing, gang? Uh, are we getting we... zooted? Fine, not gonna, not oh my god, zooted. dude. Ethan just sneezed his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> This is my twelfth, like twelfth set of sneezes. This fucking session, I give up. <laughs> I look like shit. I feel like shit. Smell like shit too. Oh, but it's a <laughs> breakfast cereal. I wouldn't know because my nose is so blocked. <laughs> Why do you always yell? Why do you, why do you always feel the need to yell? Angry. Let's we'll take it out on someone else. All right, not us. Um, no. <laughs> Yo! Uh... <laughs> <Yeah. Fuck off. laughs> I would, uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. We got a little EP guy, and we got <laughs> a fucking Ethan. What a sleazy guy. Thank you, EP. Uh, at some point, I, uh, I will <laughs> uh, sort of... I'll activate... I'll send two charges of the Nightweb Detector, and, Ooh. like, as I'm sort of going towards the hard door, I'm just gonna walk up the street a little bit <laughs> for, like, the minute. Like, I'm gonna uh, this degree house is in? Yep, I'm gonna walk up the street, up to the minute ends, get to there, and I'm then gonna walk, what go to the other side, you walk, walk back. Into is very important. Like, do you walk? Oh sit, shit! You can, you can walk away from the trade district, or towards right. the trade district. I'll go towards the trade district. That's why I know there's some shit. When you get to the, like the, the edge of the trade district, yes, your necklace picks up Nightweb in the vicinity. Is it tell who? No, no. Tell me where. all tells you is someone. It doesn't say, you, but you can kind of like deduce that within uh, sixty feet. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> the signal got sent to you the moment that, like a certain corner building entered that range. That's kind of how you can deduce that. Like, no, okay. What building was it? Just out of curiosity, did I see like a? Uh, is it the one that? And kidnapping? Is it the one that I know it is? Because they said like one of the craftsmen. That's in the, that's is... in the crafters guild. That is. Oh, that isn't the fucking good crafters guild. That's fucking miles away. Shit, it's somewhere else. Um, this was something you weren't aware of, but this would be. Let's say open up the map real quick. The pretty journey grocer. And Pretty do I just journey. a grocery shop that you have been in before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you don't go that yeah, often, but like especially like in the yeah. beginning, your your first like. Oh no, this is where we. There. I've probably restocked earlier today there as well. Oh maybe <laughs> yeah yeah no that. If we first stopped yeah. out food shopping earlier, oh fucking hell! Uh, it's that like, oh, I can't go back there anymore. <laughs> Shit, yeah. go find the other local. Can't go to the local shop anymore. Gotta go fucking halfway downtown just to walk and get my shopping. Bastard. Go all the way to Southwold. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. Like, there's, there's someone in that lives in that someone shop in or that, the shop okay. that has allegiance. I'll sort of walk uh, so oh, okay, just sort of see. We'll and just walk back. Yeah. I'll go can, the other. We, I'll, can we just like disappear him? You know what I mean? Can we just break it in the night? Bag on his head, fucking 
<laughs> we can stab him a bunch of times, then dump him in like I'm a. I'm down to try. Bad of acid? Like, what do we do? Anyway, well, and yeah, um, then I will go and get like go towards Trader to do that one, and I'll go to the other. Up. I'll then go to the other end of the street and do another check to see if there's anything. Mm -hmm. That pops up. I'm still not 100 percent sure if the nightwebs have like if there's if they're after all of us or just the Lazarin. I think the target is the Lazarin, but we've probably fucked them up enough that they wouldn't mind. Yeah. I mean, they did, was it Nightwebs that tried to kill Brooks? 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 No, that was uh. No. Yeah. Okay. No, it wasn't. That was yeah, the, but the, the stabbing and the poison. Yeah, the, yeah. Bottom, the stabbing have... was Nightwebs. No, it wasn't. Oh. Them. Yeah, it was Nightwebs because they used a very fucking expensive. Yeah, they poison. used some yeah. wicked oh, poison. Right. Didn't even kill him. He spent the whole fucking next six weeks three complaining days, about how he like, used such an expensive poison. He, he was but like clearly they needed something pressure. expensive because even that didn't kill him. So what do you you know? Anyway, um, yeah. I mean it should... was fucking close. I'd say is there anything in the other minute the other way. Let me look at my map because I did I dead ass have like this document yeah. of like a map and I've like marked everything that's like I'm I'm a web. <laughs> <laughs> so do we get like multiple pings or is it just like? There is activity in the area. You just get alerted as soon as something enters your area. Enters the bonk. Yeah. Don't know. But like, you wouldn't know if something else entered as well. It just know. well, you know if that. you say if it was more than one person, you do get multiple yeah. like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, okay, that's that answered my question. Yeah. From the grocers, is it just the other the way? Would would either actually? I guess yeah, the other way would go like to the other side of the uh, uh, like residential area you're in. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. No, nothing. Cool. And then I just will sort of through that, and then fucking scramble inside our house and just sort of wait for people there because I don't know when everyone's there or what. But I'm just sort of, and just sort of, I'll be sitting doing the classic. Like, I'll be sitting just on like a chair or something and just waiting for everyone to come home. All right. <laughs> just that, like. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, anyone else doing anything in particular? Uh, while Jax is tinkering, I'll be in like his studio workshop, whatever, but rather than actively helping, like when he's doing something interesting, I'll like look up and watch, but I'm also gonna have grabbed my journal and using Mage Hand, I'm gonna be sketching something. Okay. You make uh, a new Jax? Um, I'm gonna do my infusion. Okay. About an hour. But I will be crafting some uh, some gauntlets. Oh. Okay. Uh, whenever Jax is done, uh, I Brooks will get him to help with uh, putting a hatch in on the roof, so that he can leave via his room. Um. But while there's no one there, Brooks is gonna. I'd better put a hatch on the wall because it'd be easier to waterproof. See, this is why he'd ask Jax. <laughs> but it'd be easier to. Yeah, but then it's a pain to like climb up and get into. No, nah, we'll put like a little like lattice on the side with some ivy and stuff, you know? Works. Sure, man. We'll, we're building a hatch. And there's also another thing that I wanted to do in that room that I DM'd you. Now, fuck it. It doesn't matter if people know. Uh, Brooks, while he has some time on his own, is going to find somewhere suitable to make a hidden storage. Okay. And... Now I know. I mean, you know that there's a hidden storage. Yeah, if you start looking for it, it's meta knowledge. I mean, with like Brooks knowing... Mm. No. Being someone that knows where to look to steal nice things, he would also know where how to make where proper, are the proper look? hidden stashes and then whatnot. So yeah, you can look like bag. hollowed out a leg of the bed and like yeah, exactly or some wild shit like that. There's a false drawer in the desk that's actually just a trap. Loose, floor, loose floorboard that they're just just there to trip people. Yeah, like, the loose like, floorboard. Like, like, like drawer, if you lift it up, there's a, a grenade. In the desk drawer, put a false bottom oh. and put like a handful of gold there, so that people think, "Oh, false bottom, oh, extra gold." But then that false bottom yeah. is also a false bottom where the actual shit is. But people won't look any further. <laughs> oh no, it's like, like, oh, false bottom, oh, gold, board. nice. And then they leave. A loose so, floorboard. Is that like a BBL? The floorboard's holding down like the what? fucking handle of a grenade. Okay. Oh. I'll blow the house up. You lift the floorboard up. 
Oh, I, I, like, to... I like the house. Yeah. We just got it. Don't yeah, stop so putting Jax life into uh, my brooks. <laughs> tinkering and uh, helping Brooks with all that. Um, uh, no, I'll fucking... Uh, brooks all assembled the bed that he bought as well. Oh, nice. You bought a whole new bed or an extra oh, bed for Yeah, brother. no, like he like he's taken the bed that was in there and is either gonna it's gonna go in uh, We'll take it down the workshop. Bed. But, take it down but the no, workshop. Yeah, you can throw a bed workshop. down in the cellar. I'll throw it down I'll, the workshop. I'll put it in the workshop. That way Jack can sleep down there if he really wants. No. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> I'll take it down into the workshop. <laughs> It's just like four or five times. It's just you and Soka going, Brooks yeah, will put it in the ask... workshop. Yeah, I'll put it in the I'll workshop. Put in the workshop. Yeah, yeah, put it in the workshop. <laughs> Brooks will ask Jax Brooks, if he A wants it in the workshop or B wants it. Damn, I wonder like... if after Soko said five times to put it in the workshop, <laughs> if, I wonder if Jax wants it in the workshop. I can't tell. <sighs> or he will also suggest that maybe we disassemble it and it goes in the corner somewhere. Make bunk beds. For you yeah. and fucking you and the workshop. No. We'll just put it down in the workshop, you know? <laughs> mm, I hate it here. <laughs> is, there room for a, is there room for a bed in the workshop? Yes. Holy man. shit. I, dude, I'll make room. I actually just chat blood. <laughs> I'm going to mean... break into someone else's cellar. Like, close off their <laughs> cellar and take it for arms, okay? That's There's what I'm room gonna do. For the bed in the cellar slash workshop. Does that mean that he doesn't need a room anymore? Because he's got a he's got a bed no, in the workshop. No, I don't need a room. That's what I was saying earlier. Maybe oh. you should ask if there's room in the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the workshop? <laughs> no, no, no. no put the workshop that. in the bed. Okay, I'm in gonna meantime, shoot whoever says workshop next. Well, why did workshop? Soko... That was crazy. Soko had a reverb for a second. That was so weird. I had what? Like, it was like an echo. echo it was so... Like, oh, like, so bizarre. it's because there's no carpet in here right now because we're <laughs> getting it recarpeted tomorrow. That's oh, where, like, the pool so table's all gone, everything. Discord does a really good job of, like, cutting it out, but every so mm -hmm. often it's just, like, suddenly you're in a lair. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, right? Okay, echo. Um, in the meantime, does, does Celeste fucking show up? Uh, yeah, no. she does. After, uh... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Did I put her in the workshop? Oh. Uh... <laughs> There's a bed in the workshop. <laughs> Whatever. I'll show around. See if she wants Why don't to you make her a bunk bed? <laughs> this is the workshop. I'll get her a maid dress that's a little too short. <laughs> so she can keep the place clean and tidy. Yo, and a feather duster. Dude, I know you're talking, but nothing's coming in, dude. I'm still, mm. <laughs> I'm still recovering. Oh, God. Recovering from the workshop. <laughs> yeah, is there a maid in the workshop? Oh, there is now. <laughs> That's okay, an, so Jax is next. So invention. Celeste shows up, and yes, she does fit in the workshop. <laughs> does she also fit in the beds? Yes. What about the bed that's in the workshop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she if that bed in fits in the workshop, Celeste fits in the bed that fits in the workshop. <laughs> Yes, man. Oh. Anyway. Is he just going to lock her in the workshop? No. They should lock her in the bed. This is what's called a bit. Is it? I thought bits was supposed to be funny. Oh. Everyone, well, you know. literally the whole squad was laughing except Laura's on her phone because of the drama. I was laughing. <laughs> but yes, I also laughed. I'm just, laughing playing. It. I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> Please, it's not that serious, dude. <laughs> Please. Mom and Dad's so oh, fighting. Oh, fuck it out. My just thoughts wants... are nothing but the Buck Bumble theme song. And fucking... <laughs> what? Buck like... Bumble. <laughs> okay. So Celeste's here now. She's gonna stay also here. Okay. Save on paying for fucking rumor thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. There we go. It's in the workshop or? And, oh, okay. Well, if she fits. I'll have to ask Jax. Wait, so, yeah, we can probably put her in the workshop. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna ask Jax if we can put Celeste in the workshop. <laughs> yeah, we can put Celeste in the workshop. Yeah. I don't want to stay in the workshop. <laughs> well, we weren't gonna put you in there anyway. Uh, it's just <laughs> a bit, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's what a bit looks like? <laughs> no, she's gonna stay in my room, and then when we go, her and fucking Eorin can uh, make sure the house doesn't fall apart or get robbed or whatever. That's... And I'm sure she has a better eye I for... have a key then. I guess, what a, whatever. Oh, yeah, you just have my key. I mean, I'm not going to be here, so. 
at some point before the uh, gang come together, mm -hmm. um, I also say so. Um, we can't use the uh, the the grocery store on the uh, on the corner anymore. We gotta go shopping somewhere else. Good one. We had a great ham sandwich. Yeah, that's fantastic. However, I heard they cut it, it with like a mace, and that is what gave it its really unique You can shape. tell Jax is in the workshop. <laughs> yeah. But it fits. Um, it's, it's, like, it's like he's crawling up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, it is, it's, it's got nightwebs there. All right, let's go kill him then. No, the whole <coughs> point is with not... <coughs> Have you not understood what this whole sort of thing about is about us not revealing that we're here? There? I can only tell one, but that might be because the rest are out or what? Yeah, I don't well, know. Maybe we just grab him. Yeah, you no, don't want to grab him. Yeah, but there might be more people living there or in that. Uh, the sure, time. but if they're not my webs, we don't care. No, but we don't know. What if also, what if accidentally? Also, you, uh -huh. you suddenly like grab a night web, right? They will know that someone has gone missing. And then they will know. Who's gone into this shop? They will just do. They are steps ahead of us that we don't understand. You guys think that this well, is Well, maybe this is why they're steps people. ahead of you, is because you don't take action. No, because taking... Because last time we took action, Valor almost got himself killed. Do you want that to happen to you guys well, as well? I'd rather not. Kidnapped. That sounds more like his fault. <clears throat> don't think want that to happen to any of you lot, or me. If you continue, you're so worried about me going off my own all the time. How about we just, you well, know... Well, we'll be in a boat and then in a different city. We're not just going to go. We've got these detectives for a reason to keep us away from plus, them. Not to go into we, a crusade. We could grab the wrong person. You could be like, oh, this is the only person working, so we're going to kill and murder this innocent person. But no, first, so there's a we would hiding use in like a, a basement no, 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 or no, something. No, no, no. We'd use our necklaces then... to know who it is. Yeah, we, we would never we kill an innocent. We still have to, like, talk to them or find some way to prove it. The necklaces don't just, like, start speaking to us and go, Hey, it's that guy right there. Like, the we hell? still have to, they just well, help like, us kind of figure it out, but we still have to interact with them. And then if we I pick mean, wrong, and if we can see the know. tattoo, we know, so. Because they're going to just have it out if it's such a just, big secret. Yeah. Just, I'm just saying we need to be careful, as we've been told already about when we're entering and leaving the home. Just don't go there too often, or at least <gasps> oh get too God. known there. What if, what if well, we're having like, get... what if we have one of go our ahead. friends over? Like what if, imagine, just imagine, what if like Siren comes over and just for lols, I'm like, we're at our house, there's no way. But I turn on my nightweb detector and all of a sudden it says someone in our house is a nightweb. Like, it's oh, coming from inside the house. Think don't about it, silly. that would be so don't stressful. Be uh, don't be silly. Don't Siren's not, coming. Siren's not uh, coming over. Lazarin <laughs> fucked that a long time ago. The other thing it's is, true. I was like, oh, no, we could did. maybe... That's the problem. We could maybe send, you know, Eora or Celeste to get groceries from the place on the corner, but then... No, that no. also is a little bit worrying and probably yeah, shouldn't do that either. And also they'll just see... walk a little farther to get groceries. You know they're yeah. really like, fucking I mean... good at disguises, right? Like... <clears throat> I'm not saying we need to like disguise ourselves going in another house or anything like that. But no, I'm but if saying... we really care that much about going to this corner shop, <laughs> oh, so I'm saying we can well, just avoid What it. if we tunneled into the sewer system and I made us an entrance through there? Jack, shut the well, fuck up. I don't up. think we're There's going. There's sewers here. I don't think we're going. Basically, we could just avoid I a shop. It's not that difficult. For weeks. There's plenty of shops here. Luckily, we're in the capital city, so quite a lot of shops. If anything, there's, there's an entire district just of shops, so it's great. No problems. I'm just saying we should avoid that one. Same problem. I'm really worried it's... that this magic item is going to bring back his paranoia. Back? Where'd it go? I would say it left. Yeah. Where have you been? Just because I had a sort of bigger threat to deal with. <laughs> it's been bubbling for a while. Hey, if it makes you feel better, I had vivid dreams about killing everyone. I just, I, I don't understand. If we have this thing, why, you know, what's the purpose if we're not going to do anything about it? So the we can avoid them to, until to we're ready. To keep us safe. We're not here to go on a murdering crusade, because most of these people are probably innocent as well. They've yeah, there could be someone like anywhere. General Kron who was, like, being blackmailed or something. So we also or can't just... just part of a group they've been told to enlist into for protection. Yeah. Who knows how they've manipulated them into it. Yeah, could be wrong, and a grand leader is the... <clears throat> Um, what are we arm wrestling for? Uh, whether we kidnap the group. 
Bruce. Okay, oh, no, no, no. Okay, listen. I feel like with things with, I'm more for the kidnapping of fucking saucy spider number one. But when it comes to drastic things like this, I feel like it needs to be unanimous. I don't think we decide this sort of shit over no, and I'll be honest. We're all fucking leaving tomorrow. Yeah. So why don't we just? Yeah, we no, no, no. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done fighting for let's kidnap this poor gross. I, I think, think gross they're likely to take look the boat into and it. toss him off the edge. I I no. No, I think they're likely to look into it if someone goes missing. Mm. If, uh, first of all, if we're gonna disappear a nightweb, let's maybe not do it right next to where we're staying. Like, if we are gonna disappear one, we should probably do it fucking elsewhere because fuck knows they're gonna start looking because who else disappears nightwebs? Mm. Well, you say that, but also, we're dealing with like foot soldiers here. Like, they probably wouldn't be too concerned. They probably go we missing one every couple weeks. They don't that. give a shit about them. They give a shit about who else is gonna make them disappear. We don't. Also, we don't know that because everyone ran like just not how they work. We got a long boat ride tomorrow. They we need to get rest. In the office Let's just place. table this for when we come back. How about that? Okay. In the meantime, Yoran and Celeste probably don't go to that green yeah. grocer, I guess. Don't do I it. I mean... <clears throat> I'll be honest. I don't know if the Nyrebs even know that I have a brother. But I mean... I, it's better yeah, to but it's someone it's coming out. I assume that they do. Yeah. It's just safe to assume everything about your families. They probably know. Well, if, it's this, no family, if, it's, so. if it's been on this plane of existence. So they know about you fucking up your relationship with uh, Siren, though? They know probably everything about me and my family, my movements for the past however long I've been on here. What do you think? What do you think this, this whole thing is about? Just waiting. And yet you still insist on fucking off on your own. Because I'm an asshole. At least he's self-aware. At least he. I feel like part, part of it's some sort of suicidal tendency. You know what I mean? And also, it's you know, it's probably some sort of weird martyr complex. Like, oh, if I go off on my own and die, then the rest of the group will be left alone. You fucking bellend. You don't need to say that out. Like, okay, don't. This isn't an expose into what's going on in my brain. Okay, this is just. Uh, well, maybe it just... should be. No, I'm, no, we're... I'm drinking. I'm going to bed, wine. and I'm just gonna fucking go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's... Oh, uh, if we're going to bed, I'll, since I don't sleep, I'm going to wait till, like, I know a Lazarin's in, like, deep REM sleep. And at one point, you, you know how people listen to those, like, hypnosis tapes and they're sleeping, oh, they're like, quit smoking or do whatever. I'm just going to go to Lazarin and be like, I am important. I have value. I will not <laughs> go off by myself and just, like, chant that over and over again <laughs> while he's say sleeping. Syrian. Affirmations. I, say <laughs> I love, I love the, and there'll be just a moment, like, you don't see me wake up, I just wake up, you're like, right now, like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, the ant powder again, the fucking powder, what do you do? Number one, do our rooms, individual rooms, have locks on them? Sure. I can go through walls, doesn't oh. matter. I'm not, what, <laughs> it's not all about you, okay? I thought you were saying for a Lazarus, like, did he lock his no, door? No, 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 this is for I mean, I can stop you from coming into my room, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, Bruce. you can, you really could. Uh, <laughs> number two, at Turn some point, down. Brooks will <laughs> go through like the intimate details of what Dagon was asking Snake about. Snake Yeah. <laughs> they'll have like a they'll have a pajama party <laughs> gossip. Brooks, could you help us an invention? Why do I feel like this is gonna end badly for me? But fuck it. Uh, well, it, it shouldn't end badly. Yeah, it just wants to have an arm wrestle. Okay, go oh, on. With the gauntlet. All right. Okay. What are we rolling? Athletics? Or straight strength, up to you. Dutch for an arm wrestle? Um, I'll let you guys decide whether you want athletics or just strength. It's up to you. I can pick either. I, I mean, I'm much better at athletics. Do you like? Do you Let's want, just do straight I, strength then? Okay. It'll Come it'll on. it'll let you it'll it'll, it'll show it better. <clears throat> uh, twenty two. Twenty three. Ooh. Because of my now plus four in athletics. Or in strength. In strength. Plus four. Yo, you have the same. Because of me. my gauntlets of ogre power. What? Oh, he's got he's got the gloves on, Yo, dude. Yo, he's ogre powered. Like, on, bro. He's ogre powered. Huh? What, are, what, are, what are the gloves do? Like just uh, read out the. Uh, give me a nineteen strength. 
Is, is just that? Just plus. Yeah, yeah they just give me a night plus. They, they, they just give me like nineteen in strength. They literally make him as strong as Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. But those are they, they, they those are place your thunder gauntlets, right? Uh, no, they're just an infusion, so they're an addition to my like. The, it's like a what? basically placing an enchantment on Dutch my. Dutch is like, no, I changed my mind. Take it back. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, yeah. okay. I, I mean, to be fair, How like, much in, like, materials and shit did that cost? Or, like, it doesn't, because it's an infusion. Oh. So at level 10, I got access to, like, a new tier level of stuff. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. But to be fair, it's not, like, it doesn't add anything in combat. So it also doesn't last by anything, too, so right? they can also disappear. So. Hmm. Okay, cool, it's, no, cool. Realistically, that's only going to be for, like, strength checks, right? Because in combat, you're still going to use your intelligence, because you're on the yeah. He's just, just a strong boy for the purposes just... of carrying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's awesome. I don't know, I don't know what's going to have to happen to <clears throat> Okay. Um, and as you all begin to go to sleep. Um, I'm scared. Who has a wet dream first? Can I blow Celeste's back out? Can the rest of us start a communal fund for soundproofing? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> no, the dome, the dome comes up soundproofed. Uh, it's, not, it's not at all, but you're not just because you just dome. because you said that she's gonna hit you with a, a headache. Ah, oh, <laughs> well, you know what, me too, and trauma. So okay, they no, just cuddle. So you guys the little do whatever the fuck it is you need to do. I but, am, yeah, absolutely. So if your room's next to a Lazarus, it's probably a mood killer just to hear me repeating mantras <laughs> over and over again. To I think I'm sleeping in the workshop. We'll drown out the mantras with never mind. <laughs> Stop. They drown out the mantra with the count Stop. Of Stop. Stop. <laughs> Recording this episode. Um, I would like everybody to deafen except for Elijah. Oh, no! Oh. Hi, Koiba. Oh. I'm in trouble. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey. So, you read the letter. I did indeed read the letter. And uh, as you go to sleep, you know, you're very tired. You're exhausted. Yep. Um, and when you... You, you, as soon as your head hits your pillow, you you pass out. Mm -hmm. But you do have a, have a dream of sorts when you sleep. Mm -hmm. And in this dream, you see your father in in his bed, with like rambling and raving on, as your granddad was described to you. Um. And you're kind of like watching this from a distance, but then suddenly over the bed you see this like looming shadow. And it's like this the shadow is very bulky, very broad. Uh and then you can suddenly see the shadow looking at you. These like bright green eyes. <clears throat> Nowhere to go. Find me. Soon. And it's the same voice you heard when you used that piece of obsidian. Yeah. Um. Can I? I will try to speak out sure. to him. If yeah, you can. Can try. I'll just, and I'll just sort of say, um, how long do I have? Roughly, I've got things I've promised to do first. <clears throat> Could be weeks, could be days. Our enemies are up to something. The override must be kept safe. After we meet, us elemental lords will call a council. And you or your friends are to attend. But that is for the future. For now, we need to meet as soon as you possibly can. Okay. I will. I'll see it done. Uh, like I said before, I don't fucking run out. <laughs> like I said before, visit Grodir in Alphadil. He'll know what to do. Try and meet him before the next two weeks are over. Time is of the essence. You send me that name just in a DM for us, because I know because I know about you read my handwriting in in a week, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know what I'm like. <laughs> I know what a fucking menace I am. 
no. Donka Shin. It's been brought up to you before, like that name and that. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, it's I'm sure yeah. it was one of those ones where, like I could never remember the fucking name. I'm there, like I want to bring it up. I can't read whatever I'm. I don't yeah, want to be like. Yeah. Dutch, what's the and, name? and that's it. After that, you kind of like just fall into a slumber, okay. a deep slumber. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, I'm gonna need everyone to deafen again except for Dan. No, oh, uh, I was about to do a goofy Reva bit to make fun of Soko, but okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. Davian. Yeah, that's me. As you're done doing whatever it is you and Celestia are doing, you fall asleep. Nothing sus. We already we already hmm. determined. Uh you fall asleep and you dream and you have this vision. You're in a warm, large, brass, like, chamber. And in front mm -hmm. of you, you see Kosuth sitting on his brass throne. And he kind of just looks at you. Our enemies are fast approaching. We're planning something. Soon, us elemental lords will summon a council. You and your friends are to attend. When the word reaches you, please be ready. Who, who, who are our enemies? Those who are after the overrun. Fuck it. Your nightwebs. There's a few things that need to be done before this council can be summoned. Your friend Elazarin needs to stop postponing his meeting with his elemental. Needs to stop postponing? Yes. I understand you and your friends have a lot of things on your plate, but his meeting with Grumbar is essential before you summon the council. Your group is connected. It's no coincidence that there's ties to all of the elemental lords within your group. Mining, minus Istitia, given. Sir, yeah, that guy. The Lazarus is the only one that hasn't completed his part of the prophecy yet. And it's time that that happens. The override must be kept safe. For a new age of dragons will be ushered in. And this time we'll all lose. All right. I'd also like for you to visit me in the city of Brass with your friends before this council happens. Fuck, man. It's not essential. We do it after, given full schedule but it is time for your next exercise to unlock more of your newfound gifts learn to use them properly been a while yeah I understand that this is a lot. You have a lot going there is on. There's a lot. There's a lot. But without wanting to put more pressure on you and your friends, you are the only thing combined with us that are able to stop the new age of dragons from being ushered in. But our enemy, Nightwebs, they are steps ahead. We've finally got a tool to combat them somehow, but everyone seems a little bit hesitant to act too harshly, so... What is this tool? We can detect who... Not necessarily who, but when there are nightwebs present. 
Of course, if the city's crawling with them, it's not going to do as much good because what are we going to do? Take them all out one by one? But if they're hiding among us in plain sight, at least we can maybe vet those close to us a little bit more thoroughly. And then... I think that tool is very useful if you safe, know who to trust. Yeah, exactly. But these people are very cunning. People go missing, they'll find out it's you. Our main priority now is figure out what happened to Agrand. Why is it now revealed to the world? Keep the override safe. How do we stop the nightmare? All of this and more will be discussed when the Elemental Lords summon in the Council. You and your friends have a big part to play. Before that can happen, Lazarin needs to fulfill his part of the prophecy. I'm sure he knows. Uh, I'm sure he knows what he has to do. Obviously, I'm not going to hold his hand for it, but I will. Um, I'll make sure that. I'll make sure we steer him towards it as best we can. Rumbar grows impatient. He asked me to reach out to you and let you know about Elazrin's duties, so that he can't hide it from the rest of the group. Has been doing that way. Someone else. But him is aware. Interesting. Obviously, act on it as you see fit. Convenient, I suppose, that uh, it, you know, probably the closest to a Lazarin. And I'm going to have to be the one to speak some sense into him. Well, Do I'm... you know when this council is going to be? Probably depends on. The next few weeks will decide when. Probably depends on. Other things. There's other things in motion that we have to see out first. But just know that at some point you'll be summoned. Just be ready. All right. Doing well. We have watched. Oh, what a good watch. Shadowfell is a tricky place. For me. Too. Oh, I was fucking shit up. I was fucking shit up, man. They gave me the Sunblade, and I fucking practically carved my name into that vampire's side before he finally fell. Sadly, I didn't get the pleasure of dealing a killing blow, but... I know our relationship may be a bit... seem a bit one-sided. I will reap the benefits. But do know that the only reason... I confide in you, give you these gifts, it's because I know you'll use them to do good confidence in you. It's just not really my character to... I suppose I should get in the habit of showing my appreciation a bit. Well, I mean, you know, you don't need to fucking call me a good boy or anything. I'm just... Look. We're not communicative, but... I put to use the powers that I, I've gained. And if that isn't... If that isn't the best way to sort of, you know... Like the best form of, like, like, like worship, like, you know? You gave me some fucking powers and I'm fucking shit up. And just know that... I'm looking mad cool doing it. When you... go through what you need to go through in the city of Brass, with your friends, you'll be able to fuck more shit up. Would that be a motivator to maybe just help you decide how soon or how late you want to show up here? Oh, trust me, I, I, I know that. I know that. Alright. It's just a matter of getting everyone else on board. Everyone has their own agenda, and everyone is... You know, it's very transactional. I've made the most of my companions to obviously get the Tears of Kossuth together, and right now that seems like sort of that's my bit done for a while. I don't know how easy it'll be for me to get everyone on board to like, all right, my turn again. But we'll see. 
just know that for the sake of the council, everybody has a part to play. You, of course, your connection to me, the Lazarin and his connection, the Earthen Lord, your friend Kesslin, her connection <clears throat> with the Air Elemental Lord, and others. Even Jax has a part to play, even though his connection might not be clear yet, but it is there. Same goes for Brooks, Dragon. You being put together in a group was never a coincidence. I'm going to share some knowledge with you, but I need you to understand that this is to be taken with a grain of salt. But your, well, Agrin being revealed to the world was predicted in a prophecy. That same prophecy speaks of a group of people that helped Agrin hide again. And I believe that you might be that group of people. Why is it so important for you to stay hidden up here? Because with us revealed, there's groups like the Nightwebs, and there's more groups like them, that will always try and find new power here. This land is so closely connected to the elemental planes, and hides a variety of powerful magics, including the override that on its own can usher in a new age of dragons, a new war. It is safer for all of existence for us to remain hidden. And what are the people that live here now? I mean, there's cities and settlements and towns. You can't just cut them off from the rest of the world. Can't we? Self-sufficient or not, I mean, that's... It is unfortunate that the prophecy didn't tell us about settlers. It is something that wasn't in our plans, but like I said, this prophecy take it with a grain of salt. Prophecy talks about a group of heroes that helps Agrin hide again, but perhaps you find a different solution. But the outcome that needs to happen is that the nightwebs are destroyed. And our secrets and our magics remain hidden. Yeah, well, I suppose we'll deal with that when it comes to it. For now, make sure Lazarin's aware of the uh, pressing nature of his fucking responsibilities in this whole mess. There's a lot on our plate right now. I uh, some of it more important than others, but... <clears throat> We're going all over the fucking place. Oh, well, you headed to Port Danilo, yes? Yeah, briefly. The place the Lazarin has to go lies not far north from that. Use that information as you will. Yeah, but everything in our little world is so time sensitive. Auctions and spaceships and. I understand. Decisions have mm. to be made. Good luck. And you. And, uh, your vision begins to kind of fade. And go back to slumber as you normally would. And wake up. You honk you. 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 You honk Jesus Hello. Christ, guys. Uh, I was the first one to undeath him. What does I that say about us as a group? I paid attention for a long time. But no, not barely. I've it's been to be that guy. Barely. But I got a couple more people to have a one Oh, God. So, uh, Yo, oh, am I about to have nightmares again? And everybody deafened except for Laura. Well, what? Oh, uh, Laura's got that one. Ghosty but main. I can't have dreams. I Hello. <laughs> as you are sitting in your room, Sleepless, uh, don't sleep. You 
feel a sense of losing consciousness for a second. Oh, I hate it. As you oh, can feel your body beginning to glow brighter than it normally does, and you can see it reflect off of the walls. Ew. Your vision. And it's a dream that you've not had in a long time. Of this piece of land where all the elements come um. together. But you see more now. You see four thrones. One surrounded by fire. Seated by a man covered in flame. One surrounded by earth, obsidian. Seated by a bulky, broad-looking, rock-like humanoid. One surrounded by swirls of air. Recognizing who's sitting on top of it. Is it Kess? Kess's granddad. Oh, okay. And then you see one surrounded by a small pond. But that throne has been smashed. You reckon there are the elemental lords and their thrones and Tisha's departure from this council. They decided to destroy the throne. Rule the council of three elemental lords. But something else catches your eye. As you kind of have this vision these drawings you made of like, oh, it's like it's like deserts, but also waterfalls and snow and just all this like different weather elements all kind of coming together as one. You see a small village attached to this area. Mm -hmm. um, see people or humanoid looking figures traveling to and from the elemental lords, helping them, serving them. There's one thing you notice. These are all tabaxi. Okay. Not only that, they're all hairless. Hey! Sweet. And you get filled with a sense of awe, fusion, why now? What is this? One question that you've been struggling with all your life seems answered. We're not the only one. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm writing really fast to keep up with it all. After that, the vision fades and you kind of, you're in your room again and you have like this moment of like, what just happened? Was that real? Go back. Business as you. <laughs> hey. Well, that was weird. <laughs> I just went to go undeafen, but then I was going to deafen myself. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oi, you took so fucking long, bastard! Sorry. I <laughs> saw it straight away. I just couldn't reach the button. Um, the Joe button. Can everybody deafen except for Soko? Okay. Oh my lord! Yeah, oh, lord. lord. So everybody getting something. It's oh, everyone but me. Just... There. Jax. Yeah. Spent a long time this evening tinkering and working on things. And then you go to bed. And, and you have this dream. And you, you're a logical man. You, you make connections. You make, you know, like, you think logically of things. And suddenly you just have this thought of, like, it's this, this grand plan told about mental lords and this thing called the override and the night web. And something clicks in your head. One person in your party is linked to the Elemental Lord of Fire. One is linked to the Elemental Lord of Air. You also know that this override thing is heavily linked to the Lazarus family, right? Like that's been a thing that's been told to you. As you kind of, and then you, you were also, I'm, if I remember correctly, you were told at some point about Daigon's, like. Yeah, she's looking for, like, some, like, collection of, like, three things yeah, right, together right. or something. And that seems very elemental lordy to you. But you're, the only thing you can't put together is why you and Brooks, like, how do you and Brooks fit in this picture? Suddenly... 
Clicks. You're back. On the ship. Working for Captain Vera. You're sailing and, and you're, you're you're prosperous and, and, and the pirating is going well. And suddenly it clicks. You were meant to live on the wall. That was your calling. You, even though you're good at what you did, sometimes situations seem to be a little too easy. And something clicks back when you faced Istitia's pet, the Elemental Lord of Water, and all the stories of him breaking and, and siding with, uh, you know, the, the sea bitch. A memory just kind of like unlocks a memory that you had kind of blocked when you shipwrecked those druids that caused that storm you saw something in that storm something that captain vera didn't see shape shape of the same avatar of the sea bitch that you fought in that cavern. And with her, shape of Stisha. You don't know exactly to what capacity or what it means, but your connection to this group, your your piece in this puzzle, is somehow linked to the now ex elemental lord of water. don't know exactly how or what. There's this moment of, like, recognition. Wait, this makes sense. 